एवरीवन आज अक्टूबर की पहली तारीख है और आज हमारा जो नया सेशन शुरू होने वाला है टू रिकवरी रीबिल्डिंग रेजिलियंस वर्कशॉप सीरीज ये हमारा नया वर्कशॉप सीरीज शुरू हो रहा है आज उसका पहला सेशन है दसवें महीने का पहला दिन हमारा सेशन का भी पहला दिन टाइम होगा सिक्स टू नाइन एंड दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द ट्रेनिंग्स एंड द वर्कशॉप नई नई बातें सीखेंगे एंड अपने आप को बेहतर बनाएंगे एंड हु एल्स कैन वी हैव बेटर देन निविदिता अवर ओन निविदिता टू स्टार्ट दिस सीरीज फ्रॉम एंड उससे पहले मैं बोलना चाहती हूँ इतना धुआधार जो फ्लायर बनाया है परमिंदर जी ने वाह जी वाह like very impressive and thank you so much parminder ji for that and this brainstorm baby jo uzma bai ji aluka ji unhone kiya hai for this workshop uh, uh, so we are looking forward for that so here we go to our own nivedita shori she is a teacher mentor creative writer presenter for educational and self help topics she has been engaged with spiritual practices of mindfulness over 20 years not one not two 22 decades 20 whole years in this session she will highlight how mindfulness can uplift our mind our life and world around us when we become conscious of ourselves and others and when we become fully aware of our surroundings we can find peace and purpose in our life the session will focus focus on how to become mindful and use it to enhance the quality of our living this is all about ye aaj ke session mein kya hoga thodi si jankari nivedita ke bare mein but main personally jitna nivedita ko janti hu uh kya kahu nivedita 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 extremely a beautiful person from heart from brain uh agar uska dimag kholo to is ek sundar sa bagicha milega usme bas har soch uski khoobsurat hai phoolon si mehak aayegi har it is just beautiful she is extremely simple very ground to earth and there's so much to learn from uh, you nivedita aapki personality aisi hai ki aapke sath hum agar hum rahe to bhi uh, hamari soch bahut achhi ho, hogi so i'm really looking we all are looking forward to hear from you all about your practices and uh, your knowledge and the stage is all yours nivedita 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 shori welcome to thank you vidya oh my god you should follow me everywhere i should take her with me like she is going to talk about me you guys um thank you so much for this introduction and for this honor i actually feel humbled to be invited among a group of such strong and resilient women who have so much to share and offer to each other on this road to recovery rebuilding and resilience which is what a wonderful name for the workshop series um today i hope that i will not only be facilitating a session on mindfulness but also that i will be learning from you all um and uh, taking part in your knowledge as well to so, mera first formal experience with mindfulness um it was around 18 19 years ago um, i my mother used to go for meditation in the evenings on one day of the evening actually i think it, it was a friday evening as well and um I just said I will go with you mummy aaj or I guess I like to spend time with my mother but also um I was I was doing biotechnology at that time aur kuch bahut mushkil tha koi test tha I, I didn't want to study for it and I'm like ha ha aaj meditation pe chalte hain you know let's go for meditation and I don't know you know these south asian families yahan pe jab bacche kehte hain na ki I want to do man I want to go to mandir I want to do pat एंड मुझे रिलीजियस रूट्स के बारे में पता करना चाहता हूँ मेडिटेशन हॉल बहुत काम एटमोस्फियर था और मेरे दिमाग में था कि मेडिटेशन है तो इट मस्ट बी समथिंग अबाउट रिलीजन यू नो लाइक कुछ कोई मंत्र देंगे कोई चैंट करने के लिए बोलेंगे एंड आई विल बी डूइंग दैट चैंटिंग लाइक एवरीवन विल बी मेडिटेटिंग बट दिस टीचर वाज एंगेजिंग अस इन अ मेडिटेशन दैट फोकस्ड ऑन आवर बॉडी एंड आवर ब्रीदिंग लेटर ऑन व्हेन आई डिड माय ओन रिसर्च आई फाउंड आउट दैट इट इज अ टेक्निक कॉल्ड 
body scanning, um, which is a very important uh, component of mindfulness um, meditations. Um, it just had such a positive effect on me just being there that I started to practice it independently. And I found that it, it helped me focus better. Like whatever a student's tasks are, it helped me to do them better. It helped me um, to become internally strong. You know, socially, I felt better and more calm and more peaceful. Um, so I just felt that this, this is me, just that going that there that day, I just felt, okay, I need to practice this more. So intentionally, uske baad mene, I made myself learn a lot about mindfulness. Um, I was, I've been lucky. So I was doing a master's at U of T or Jack Miller, hai, professor. Um, he, he is a master of spirituality and education. So I learned so much from him that I tried in my job as a teacher. So I've been teaching for 14 years. And um, I've tried to create classroom spaces that are mindful. And I've noticed that um, elementary children, when they are nurtured, jab, um, chote elementary students go, ek aise environment mein rakte hai, jo mindful hai, um, they turn out to be more self-regulated. They turn out to be more calm. They turn out, they have strategies to calm themselves down when problems come. They're more creative. They're more thoughtful. Um, and they're just more content. They, they know what they want. They know their strengths, their needs a little bit better. Um, I've also done some inner guidance sessions with um, a teacher called Dr. Lawrence Nussbaum. And I realized that like, he's a psychotherapist, but also a musician and an artist. Um, so I thought that was a really great combination. Um, and he created the, uh, he used the approach of mindfulness to show us tools within ourselves. Like it's just, I guess he didn't show them, but just using that approach of mindfulness, to participants say they, they were just finding all these tools when you have a problem, as opposed to relying on external supports. So that is really what mindfulness did for me. And then I'm always looking for opportunities to be a part of mindfulness related dialogue, discussion, uh, whether with individuals or groups, which famous experts, Jinko Me Follow Kirti, which you must have heard of. Um, one of them is called Thich Nhat Hanh. This is what he looks like. So he's a Vietnamese monk. He's considered to be a Zen master. He received the Outstanding Inner Peace Award for inspiring millions of people to find inner peace. Um, and the other person is Eckhart Tolle, The Power of Now. So Eckhart Tolle is the other person. Um, and so the, the two most famous books of Eckhart Tolle are The Power of Now and A New Earth, but all be bought sadly. Or do Tignathane and Kito like amazing books? Like they are just so simply written, just so um, easy to follow and easy to practice. So there's like a bunch of books about from Tignathan as well. So in Dono um, ki books, like I consider them to be experts. Like I always quote them when I'm talking about mindfulness. So you'll probably hear me quoting them a lot. But I also know that. Mindfulness already practiced with Pyongyang, and it's a term that has been used very um, like increasingly in the in the past few years. So aap may say jo bhi agar kuch um, koi practice karte hain ya koi experiences hain aapke or whatever your knowledge of mindfulness is, I would love to hear it too. If you want to share something, you can just unmute yourself. What do you think mindfulness is? Like, let's not be too long. Like maybe in, in about 20 seconds, what do you think mindfulness is? Uh, can I? Just being in present. Yeah. I'm focusing on surrounding one, at, one thing at a time. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Um, hey, Relata. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead, Afsa. Relaxing. Relaxing. Um, I would say for me, grounding is, I mean, it's a number of things, uh, sorry, um, mm -hmm. mindfulness, it's a number of things, but really most important, it's about grounding for me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mindfulness for me is uh, pay full attention what you're doing in that. Yeah. 
Maji? Narendra uh, auntie wanted to say something? She did also, yeah. Okay. So for me, it's to connecting with that moment right now. Sorry, I was mute. Uh, I, I said the concentration of the uh, mind in whatever you are doing or looking, but is there. There should be concentration. And Gulnaz is saying in the chat, alertness. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. I think you're on, like, you're, you're just like on the spot, everyone. Um, so let me tell you a little story. A um, Vietnamese monk, he had a disciple. Um, so he was, Thich was a Buddhist teacher, a guru, and Mobi was staying with them with uh, his teacher to learn the language, to learn Vietnamese language. So Aeg then, Mobi decided that he's going to cook a meal for himself and for his teacher. And he wanted to make it really special. So he had like a lot of things going on in the kitchen. He had special recipes, special ingredients, um, you know, a, a lot of elaborate stuff happening. When the teacher arrived at the door, um, he saw Moby looking very busy and stressed and um, frazzled. So the teacher said, Moby, you look like you're looking for something. So Moby said, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, teacher. Um, it's my spoon, spoon. It's here somewhere for sure. I'm looking for my spoon. And the teacher just smiled and said, I think, Moby, you are looking for Moby. Um, so I think what he was trying to say was when we feel lost and overwhelmed and stressed, basically what has happened is that we have lost that connection with ourselves, right? Um, we are looking for things in the material world, but actually it doesn't really help. So we need to restore that connection with ourselves in, when we feel lost. And mindfulness is one strategy that helps to rebuild that connection, um, which we might have lost due to various reasons. Like it could be a post-pandemic related thing, right? Like you need to recover from things that have happened to you. We might have lost the connection with ourselves because of things that have gone on internally or externally in our world. So that is something that mindfulness can help with. And just like Fazia said earlier, a very popular term um, as, that is a component of mindfulness is grounding, right? Grounding, it means the ability to stay firmly rooted, solidly settled within ourselves, right? I mean, ground, but you are grounded, you can't go anywhere, which means you are just settled in your room, you're not going anywhere else, you know? So grounding is really a continuous, sustained activity. It's not just a one plug, one just turn on the switch and it happens. It is a sustained activity in which, like Vidya and so many other people said, it's about returning to that present moment. Grounding kis, kis cheese me karne. Like we have to ground ourselves in something. So mindfulness says grounding yourself in the present moment instead of getting distracted by the million things that are happening around us, instead of being just blown by the wind like a leaf, you stay grounded, you stay rooted. So that takes us to the definition of mindfulness. Once again, there are so many experts in mindfulness and the, the term has become so popular um, that different people present it differently. Um, I'm just going to share my screen here also so that we can just look at something else other than me also. I'll present. Um, so the definition of mindfulness then is keeping one's consciousness on the present reality, right? 
सो कॉन्शियसनेस हमारी जब प्रेजेंट रियालिटी में रहती है द प्रेजेंट मूवमेंट में रहती है दैट टेक्निकली दैट इज इट दैट्स माई बोनस सो आई कॉल इट द स्टेट ऑफ थ्री एज थ्री एज द फर्स्ट ए इज अवेयरनेस अवेयरनेस यू नो just like this there is a um, mug on my table and i'm aware of the fact that there is a mug on the table agar i was drinking coffee before so i kind of know that the mug is on the table but to bring my awareness to that mug to consciously look at that mug that is awareness that is the first a the second a of um, mindfulness is acknowledgement acknowledge hai jaise aap kisi kamre mein baithe hain and someone enters आप अवेयर तो हैं कि कोई एंटर हुआ है बट यू अग्नोलेज इज टू लुक एट दैम टू नॉड और टू से हाई दैट इज अग्नोलेजमेंट राइट हमने उनको अग्नोलेज किया सो जस्ट बींग अवेयर समटाइम्स द अवेयरनेस समटाइम्स इज जस्ट इन द बैक ऑफ आर माइंड जब हम अग्नोलेज करते हैं तो दैट अवेयरनेस कम्स इन द फ्रंट ऑफ आर माइंड सो दैट इज द सेकेंड स्टेप ऑफ माइंड फेमस एंड देन द थर्ड इज एक्सेप्टेंस सो आई लुक दिस मग I was aware of it. Then I acknowledged it and I said, "Oh yeah, here is the mug." And then the third is accepting it, not saying, "Ye mug yahan kahan se aa gaya? This mug shouldn't have been here." Oh, you know what? I've been meaning to buy a new mug. I don't know. I don't like this mug. Just accepting the fact that it's there. No judgments in that moment, right? So you you're aware. You've acknowledged it. You've accepted it. Really, mindfulness. The process is just this, right? but i have a question for you bahut bar mindfulness discussions mein there is a question that comes up and people say ke agar kuch upsetting situation ho raha something bad is happening um something stressful is happening are you just telling me that i should just sit there and accept it should i just sit there in that moment and accept it what are your thoughts about it anyone wants to share and it is it is a very confusing thing mindfulness if not done properly can can feel very like a a wrong technique to use so what what is what are your thoughts on acceptance if someone is talking Yeah, Fabia. Okay. Um so I'm going to I'm going to say that acceptance means that you just accept a situation for what it is, removing good, bad, right or wrong. So let go of judgment and just accept what happened happened, especially if it's an external event that we have no control over. The only thing that we have control over is our our behavior our response the way that we behave because of what happened but to accept it doesn't mean that you're saying it's okay and i'm okay with it you're not condoning what happened what you're saying is what happened happened and i i accept i can't change that but i can choose how i want to respond yeah i'm so glad fazia that Fazia is right here, right? <laughs> Rad radical acceptance. It's one of my favorite topics. <laughs> I know that. Um, anyone else? Anything about like? Does acceptance mean that you know we're accepting any kind of situation that's happening in our life and just being okay with it? So just as Bazia said, um, when when we're mindful, it does not mean that we're accepting all of the unjust and unfair and hurtful and upsetting situations in our life. Mindfulness asks you to accept your thoughts, your reaction, your thinking about the situation as well. You know, um, there is a quote that says. it is not stress that kills us it is our reaction to it um a few years ago um i was writing for a mental health online publication and i remember writing an article just mean i was recalling an incident in my life which made me think that 
one time I had a problem and would your problem be, it was a problem. It was not a pleasant situation. That is why it was a problem. But the problem would not have killed me. But the stress that I took about it, it would have killed me because stress is known to cause so many things. I could have had a stroke. I could have had a heart attack. I could have had um, an aneurysm. I could have had a high blood pressure. I could have had so many things do immediately actually harm Puyuti, right? The problem itself would not have killed me. So the point is that um, it is human tendency that we want to engage, right? Thought again or problem here, and we want to engage with it. We want to do something. We want to analyze it. We want to constantly stay in that situation of, um, you know, doing something in our head about it. So mindfulness teaches us that we need to step out of our mind sometimes and just live a little, you know. Hamara sari life ends up happening in our mind. Um, so we need to step out of our heads sometimes and just observe, you know. Don't engage, just observe. And that is what the crux of mindfulness also is. Observing a situation and not engaging with it. You know, when people ask me if I like the winter, and I always say, I love to watch the winter. I love to sit by my window, hold a cup of tea, have a book in front of me, and we just snowflakes pele pele gitte and then um, you know the lights turn on and they shine on the snow, and then um, you know like the branches are turning white. It just is so beautiful to look at. Um, but Engaging with the snow is a different story. Like when you have to shovel the snow, when you have to drive in the snow, when you have to cover yourself up. Or I'm a person who, who is cold all the time, even in the summer. I'm cold. So winter is not good for me to engage with, but I can observe it and it feels great. With the mind, there are so many times when we don't need to engage. Engaging is hard, but we want to do that hard thing. We don't want to just observe. We want to do the hard thing of engagement, right? Um, we, we rush to do something to engage with our thoughts, but no, we, we don't want to observe. Mindfulness tells us, just be there. Just observe the moment. Just be aware of it. Just know that it's happening. Awareness is super important. Though. Like you cannot close your mind off about what's happening because um, mindfulness is not something like, oh, it's super lazy. I'm not supposed to do anything about it. No, mindfulness, you're actually supposed to do something. You're supposed to observe and you're supposed to not engage. No? That's basically what mindfulness is. So mindfulness really means becoming conscious, becoming conscious. Um, we all know what unconscious means, right? Unconscious. What does unconscious mean, anyone? Uska Hindi mein to word hota hai, behosh. Behosh hota hai. Yeah. So that's unconscious. And conscious means to be awake, right? To not be behosh. But here's the thing. Just because we are not sleeping doesn't mean that we're awake. I don't know what your thoughts are about this. If anyone wants to share, I'm more than happy. It's a discussion. So just because you're not sleeping, it doesn't mean that you're awake. Okay. So Navitra is key example here. Yeah. I want to share something about this just because you're not sleeping. That doesn't mean you're awake to bahut bar absentmindedly. We do things which uh, we don't know. We think we are doing it right. Just say, um, for a moment, we just lose ourselves uh, doing something else. So I think that's the time we lose the consciousness. We lose the track of the moments what, or the activity, what we are doing and unconsciously consciously we went some, somewhere else. And I think that's what uh, you're talking about. Okay? That's exactly what we're trying to say, right? Um, that we're, we are awake in the physical body, like we are being able to walk around, our, our eyes are open, but you're right, like we're, we're acting like zombies, like we don't know what we're doing, we're meeting, what's going on, 
आफ्टर कितनी सारी मीटिंग्स होती है उसके बाद समटाइम्स um koi deadline like i get a follow up email from my principal about something about the meeting and i go i have to call the colleague what was that what what did she want me to do when did she say that i don't remember her you know so we're not paying attention in that moment sometimes um so we're not conscious we're not mindful we're not in that present moment at that time so is someone saying something um to be born is like to be awake also right hum born ho gaye but hum awake and so technically we're awake in this world but we live so much so so much of our life just not being awake you know just um as if we're sleeping we go about this entire birth sometimes as if we're just sleeping ek meri uh, friend hai every time i ask her how's life she says to me it's all a big blur <laughs> that's her favorite sentence it's all a big blur that means sab kuch dhundla dhundla sa hai everything is like jumbled up i feel so confused right now maybe that's because she's trying to look at too many things at the same time we all are you know we all are trying to 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 look at everything together and that does blur things up for us we become unconscious of what we're doing because there's so much that we're doing and maybe we just need to be aware of this one thing the present moment right um agar aap dekhein the present moment is the only time when we live when do we live we only live in the present the past is just the memory of it the future is just the hope for something to happen but we're only living in this present moment if i love something or someone it's right in this moment that i do not in the past not in the future if i create something it's in this moment i'm going to create it if i do something it's in this moment aur hum log rehte hain kahan past mein ya future mein for so much of our lives right we never try to come to this present moment to think of what's going on um i found this image very interesting it, it kind of connects with what we're saying so our there's so many thoughts that are happening in our mind at the same time so many times um but they have to either do with the past which is unchangeable or the future which is only imaginary like i don't know what's going to happen tomorrow all my best laid plans could change um so and also the fear right we're so fearful about things that might happen tomorrow or in the future and the future is not just tomorrow it could be 10 years down the road sometimes we're thinking about things that you know like that that don't even pan out and then after a few years we say oh remember those times when i was planning for this thing or that thing so basically we were living our life as if we were unconscious um another concrete example um pretend you have a really like a super comfortable chair at home by the way if you have one you should tell me where you got it because i can't find super comfortable chairs these days um so aapke paas ek bahut super comfortable chair hai and you are you came from work and you're tired and you just sit in it and it wraps you up you know one of those chairs just you just think in it and you feel so comfortable so you sit in it and all of like automatically you start to relax your eyes start to close and your body starts to relax and now your mind drifts off to different things different places because you know your body is relaxed and you start to think 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 and all of a sudden you become very worried about something that you have just thought about maybe it was a plan for oh my god i was supposed to do that why am i sitting i should be doing this or ya kuch past ke bare mein aisi cheez jo oh my goodness aaj aisa ho gaya aisa nahi hona chahiye tha i could have avoided it i could have done this i could have done that so all of a sudden you were not in the present you were somewhere else let's say after 10 15 minutes you get up from that chair you won't even remember you were sitting on that chair you will only remember what you were thinking about you will only remember that you were worried you will you will only remember what you need to do what a waste of that super comfortable chair what a waste of that time what a waste of those precious precious moments right um 
मेरे पास है नहीं वो चेयर अगर मेरे पास होगी लाइक आई नो आई कीप सेइंग इफ आई हैव दैट चेयर आई वुड बी सो रिलैक्स्ड बट इट्स एन इट्स समथिंग दैट हैपेंस विद एवरीवन राइट सो वी जस्ट स्टे कंप्लीटली समवेयर एल्स um like look at this picture this little girl who is in the park enjoying the sunshine that's what she's seeing that's what she's looking at but we because we're so smart and we have so many things to do we're thinking about a million things at the same time uske speech bubble mein adult ke there is no sunshine there is no flowers there is no park right so because we think okay now i'm in the park now let me plan my day now let me you know vent out myself my anger at you know the universe or at the world or or let me just think about so many things that i need to do so just instead of becoming mindful we just we just have this full mind you know um that we're not even aware of jab itni sari cheeze hain of course it's going to become blurry i'm not going to be able to separate my little cup from all the different thoughts that are happening in my mind that little one thought that i want to focus on i won't be able to work on it so um what i always say is the present is like a grand entrance i imagine kare bade bade doors or bahut khuli jagah and you can walk through it like on a red carpet like royalty kings and queens ki tarah but guess what we have done hum itna sara taam jhaam leke usme se nikal rahe hain we're taking so many things with us that we end up squeezing the present moment and we turn it into like a like a patli gali you know we're barely squeezing through that big royal grand entrance you know it it feels like a a narrow tight tunnel the present which could have been ours in all its full glory becomes reduced to like a a stressful strained experience which we are just somehow getting by like koi puche how was that entrance how was that present moment oh i can i don't remember it was too tight it was you know it was very stressful to go through it so sometimes that's what we do we're just trying to make these big plans worry about these big problems all the time not realizing ke hum log we're not living in those big plans or those big moments we're living in this simple little moment called the present moment our life could have been simple if we just focused on this thing um you know just sitting on that comfy chair you know and actually enjoying it that could have been our present moment you know just being awake being awake about the comfort you see you are actually experiencing that is mindfulness um this is a very famous um these are famous lines that i've heard for many many years now don't wait for that perfect moment take the moment and make it perfect right um kab se hum log sun rahe hain ji and that basically is mindfulness right instead of waiting for that perfect weekend oh my god wo weekend jab aayega when i will do nothing um or waiting for that perfect vacation you know oh my god that picture on the internet of bora bora with the water with that hot that's where i want to be that would be my perfect vacation you know what that kind of tells my mind it tells my mind that what i have right now is not great that day will be great that vacation will be great that moment will be great you know we have to see today right now as great that is what my goal really is jab hum conscious ho jate hain then we start to notice things right we start to see what's happening with us around us um and what we see are not just what what's here we actually notice the miracles miracles ko hindi mein to chamatkar bolte hain i don't know if there are other words for it urdu mein kehte hain mujza 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 ho gaya miracle ho gaya what is azab budget hmm oh, okay for forget it we bad um yeah so miracles are are things that feel supernatural hai na hame humme koi super power aa gayi hai that's a miracle agar koi pani pe chal sakta hai that's a miracle if you can walk on thin air that's a miracle how about walking on earth that's a real miracle do we ever stop and notice ki zameen par chalna bhi to ek miracle hai kaise hamara ek pair uthta hai dusra pair us ek pair rakhte rakhte hain dusra pair uth jata hai saath hi 
right? We are walking. That's a superpower. Um, right now, I know just before we began this session, we were talking about how people's knees and legs and feet are in some pain these days because of the changing weather. Right now, let's, let's notice our feet. Wiggle your feet. Wiggle your feet. They wiggle. Isn't that a miracle? Um, think about your feet gently. Thank them a little bit. They make us do so many things during the day. You know, they take us to so many different places during the day. So just wiggle your feet. Thank them. Do you know how many bones are in each foot? Don't Google it. Many be Google it yet. Do you know how many bones we have in each foot? 26 bones in one foot, 30 joints in one foot, more than 100 muscles in one foot, muscles, tendons, and ligaments, more than 100. So up imagine kare, abhi all of a sudden, and you have to leave, ek second mein aap khade honge, aur ye saare jo muscles or joints or bones hai, they will start working synchronously, to make that foot work, to make that foot walk. That's a miracle. And we don't see it every day. We don't even notice every morning we open two miracles, our two eyes, right? Um, they, they enjoy it. They, they let us enjoy the world. They let us see the beautiful colors of the sunset that um, well, Uzman Bajir did there sometimes post on Facebook. We can call it a reflection also. A reflection of what? Uh, re, re... Go on, sorry. Hindi mein batai? Reflect action, uh, sudden jo action. Hota hai, it's a reflect, whatever, reflect what, action. I'm not expecting that it happens. Oh, I see. You're not expecting and it all of a sudden happens? Yeah. Okay. Do you reflect, reflect action? action of... It is called reflect action. Hanji, Hanji. Hanji, Hanji. Reflex action, to Andy, wo hai na, jase, all of a sudden, kuch aapke aage hai and you just do something. Right? Oh, 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 reflex action. Hanji, aapke reflexes. Reflexes hey, reflect are a miracle. Action. Reflect action. Reflexes are a miracle. Right? Hanji. All of a sudden, how do you know? Aap drive kar rahe how do you know? How does your body react to all this new car that all of a sudden came? How do you know to press the brake? You know, that's, I feel like all these things are miracles. Um, like I was saying, like the things we do with our eyes, we watch the colors of the fall. We watch the leaves coming in the spring. Woi leaves ki change ho rahe colors fall me. Woi leaves fall kar rahe hain. Aur hum apne aankho se dekh rahe hain. Last year, actually, I experienced this this super beautiful thing. Um, main, I was just sitting din, subha jaldi. I guess subha jaldi uthna chahiye, right? I'm not an early waker, but um, anyway, so I woke really early and I was sitting by the window and there is um, a large maple tree just outside our window. Aur, like it was late fall, like I want to say November-ish. But that tree, koi hawa nahi chal rahi thi. it was totally calm. It was totally... Um, windless, quiet, and I saw those leaves falling one by one. Because I that when the wind when the leaves are ready, they'll just fall. But they have to fall. If the wind doesn't fall, it's their time to fall. And I experienced it. I mean, when I looked at it, they were like, the other tree was gone. Like some of the branches were completely empty. It was just such a beautiful moment to like it's something that you never forget because I guess I was taking the time to notice it. Um, so if we were to notice all of these miracles happening around us all the time, I think we would see how abundant we are. You know, we would not always be thinking about what's lacking in our life, what is um, what we have a scarcity of. We would we would be thinking about you know what we actually have in our life also. You know. Um, I would also like us to take a look now at some daily mindfulness practices we can do. And 
daily life may he can you know noticing the miracles is is an amazing thing to do and there are some practices that we can regularly bring in our life or mindfulness ki practice mein ek bahut important practice mani jati hai breath pe focus karna aur hamari breathing pe focus karna you know aapka sabse prized possession kya hai kisi ka right kisi does anyone have a thought so what is your most valuable most prized possession for you qualities possession or possessions kuch bhi uh, the word is possession i think uh, something that you possess i think a beautiful heart and beautiful mind or the thought process for me and ji aunty तो जब मैंने जिस वर्कशॉप में मुझसे ये क्वेश्चन पूछा गया था अभी तो हमारे पास कॉन्टेक्स्ट है ना वी हैव लर्न वी हैव टॉक अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन माइंडफुलनेस क्या है क्या नहीं दैट वाज जस्ट लाइक अ अ ब्लैंक क्वेश्चन राइट एट द बिगिनिंग So what is your most prized possession? Or you know, just say what I will. What will you answer? That if you were stranded on an island, what are some of the possessions that you think you would have with you, or Jogi? So I thought that prized possession, my own. Let me think in my life, you know. Or I'm saying, ah, my Vitamix blender, my phone, my books, my Wi-Fi connection. You know, my prized possession. <laughs> And then afterwards. so what they said boy aapka heart mind breathing ke sath connected cheeze um our most prized possession is our body we came possessing this body you know so our most prized possession is the body and breathing helps us to connect with our body the breathing is the is what holds key to our life to our body right in general we don't pay attention to breathing सांस है आ रहा है जा रहा है राइट इट्स अ वॉलंटियर इट्स एन इनवॉलंटरी प्रोसेस इट्स जस्ट इट्स जस्ट हैपनिंग देयर इज अ शॉर्ट पोएम इट इज कॉल्ड द ब्रेथ इज लाइफ्स टीचर द ब्रेथ इज लाइफ्स टीचर इट इज अ पोएम रिटन बाय जोना मार्टिन आई वुड लाइक अस टू टू वॉच दैट पोएम इट्स नॉट बीइंग रिसाइटेड तो आपको पढ़नी पड़ेगी इफ यू कैन रीड इट ग्रेट इफ नॉट देन वी कैन कम बैक एंड एंड रीड इट टुगेदर एज़ वेल um but as you are watching this poem i would like you to to focus on some words or phrases or sentences that reach out to you that connect with you ya koi aapko strike kar diye cheez khas um just let me know okay नहीं दे रहा कोई बोल नहीं रहा मेरे ख्याल में आप अपने टेबलेट से देख रहे हो तो आपको शायद पता नहीं चल रहा है या फोन से देख रहे हो तो यहाँ एक 
बहुत प्यारी सी एक वीडियो प्ले हो रही है जिसमें सिर्फ म्यूजिक है और लिखा हुआ आ रहा है तो वो मेरे ख्याल में आप देख नहीं सकती थैंक यू सो मच इट्स जस्ट मैं यही कह रही थी कि ये इसमें वर्ड्स बोल नहीं रहे हैं वो तो हमें पढ़ना पड़ेगा थोड़ा एंड इफ वी कैन रीड इट देन वी कैन गो बैक एंड एंड रीड इट आफ्टर बट मैं एक बार चाह रही थी कि हम लोग सब खुद से भी पढ़ लें थैंक यू सो ना जाए बहुत अच्छा सा म्यूजिक है रिलैक्सिंग you could hear uh, how much you could read i mean very nice that's excellent agar koi aise words hain koi sentence koi thought aapko aaya kuch sunke kuch padhke ya aapne kuch connect kiya ya aapko strike ki koi cheez actually breath is saying that i without invitation i am coming to you and you are leaving me without any hesitation and i whenever i go inside i nourish whole with the body and without any regret i go away and you leave me how beautiful is that right i know yeah ke aap aap bulaye mujhe ke na bulaye i keep coming i keep nourishing you and i keep leaving without any regret hum kisi ke ghar jaye aur koi hame welcome na kare acha nahi lagta right par breath ko aisa nahi hai breath aata hai unko usko hum welcome bhi nahi karte bahut baar we don't pay attention to it but what happens does it does it say okay you know what you're not paying attention to me main agla saans main nahi aa raha hu abhi wapas doesn't happen right it keeps coming back i know Very 
मैंने इतना ब्यूटीफुल डिस्क्रिप्शन uh, कभी देखा नहीं सुना नहीं सिंपलेस्ट प्रोसेस ऑफ वी एक्चुअली नॉट लाइक इनफ ग्रेटिट्यूड नहीं जताते छोटी सी प्रोसेस का द द गॉड गिफ्ट वी हैव गिवन बाय द गॉड सो दिस वाज रियली वेरी ब्यूटीफुल अलाउ मी फील मी मूव विद मी बहुत सारी चीजें थी जो मुझे अच्छी लगी एक पॉइंट का था मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा वो था वेलकम मी एम्प्रेस मी फुली लेट मी नरिश यू कम्प्लीटली देन सेट मी फ्री मूव विथ मी डांस विथ मी सिंग विथ मी साई साई विथ मी लव मी ट्रस्ट मी डोंट ट्राई टू कंट्रोल मी दिस वॉज सो ब्यूटिफुल दिस इज आई थिंक अगर ये इतना एक स्लाइड को मैं फॉलो करके बस ब्रीद करूँ आई थिंक इट विल बी लाइक डिवाइन इट विल बी वेरी ब्यूटिफुल एंड आई विल <laughs> move with me sing with me dance with me this is so precious thank you nivedita yeah, no problem that was really beautiful it's donna martin you know ne likhi hai poem and i can send the link please in the in the group for us yeah no i i yeah baji so nivedita ek to music itna soothing hai aur usko padhna mujhe lag raha tha maine to kabhi bhi us tarah acknowledge nahi kiya apni saanson ko और ये जो था आई एम अ गिफ्ट फ्रॉम लाइफ यस इट इज और मैं मैं अपोलोजाइज भी कर रही थी अंदर ही अंदर मुझे हो रहा था कि मैंने कभी ऐसे फील नहीं किया yeah. सब कुछ वो जो विद्या ने कहा है द ब्यूटीफुल ब्यूटीफुल वी आर अवेयर हम कितनी माइंडफुलनेस ही करते हैं एक्टिविटीज और सारा कुछ लेकिन इस तरह आज तक नहीं मैंने सोचा था थैंक यू सो मच फॉर शेयरिंग दिस ब्यूटिफुल any other thoughts um, everyone has so I many can... thoughts share nahi kar rahe log <laughs> sorry if i can if i can share um it's it, this is absolutely like mind blowing to just take a moment and really and i love that we're reading it because mindfulness we have to be present you know um the one that really stood out for me i mean i agree with it, what everyone said but the one that really stood out for me is follow me and i'm going to take you to the ends of the earth and like uh, external and i'll take you to your the inner depths of your soul right that is so powerful because life is a journey and there's two parts to this journey there's the external journey where we go out and we explore and we learn and we have adventures and then there's the inner journey where we go in internal and we learn and we develop and we grow and i just love that you know follow me and i will take you yeah beautiful thank you yeah and it's the breath and all we're doing is following the breath mm-hmm. you know, the way it's coming and where it's going just just keep with it stay with it yeah so one the one line that that stood out to me the first time i saw it was um actually the one that's displayed right here like the one like do you invite me so mai hamesha ye sochti hu ki hum breath ko अपने इनर्स घर के अंदर तक लेके जाते हैं अपने बॉडी के अंदर तक और इज इट जस्ट सुपरफिशियल फ्रंट फोये से आए और आप वापस चले जाए यू you नो know? लाइक like, जैसे जैसे कई लोग बोलते हैं ना अभी जल्दी जल्दी में हम और आप उनको जल्दी से बाहर से कुछ पकड़ाते हैं एंड देन दैट पर्सन लीव आई ऑलवेज फील दैट आई टेक माई ब्रेथ सो सुपरफिशियली इट जस्ट कम्स एंड लीव लाइक आई आई डेट टेक द टाइम टू इन वाइड इट टू लाइक just i guess that's not how the body works but just a very concrete example is mai sochti hu ki mere toe ke tip tak mera breath gaya jo maine hawa li abhi oxygen li did i let it go all the way to the bottom of my foot to the tip of my fingernails to the top of my head i don't even know when it came when it went you know so um that one's always stood out for me like just okay just here you are and you can leave now i don't give it the time and space to go all the way inside someone wants to share i don't see their name it's a small screen 
Hi, Nivedita. Can I say something? Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Nivedita. Right. Um, what I was thinking reading this and when you mentioned is that breath does not uh, want our permission. It, it does not have any regrets when it leaves our body. And um, a thought comes into my mind is that we always say that um, we are breathing the air, but actually air is breathe, breathed into us. We are not. Yeah. So do you feel like there's something just happening by itself? I feel like um, I'm looked after. Something's happening by itself. Um, so air is being given into me. That air going in my body yeah. is again, my body is pumping that air into the minute cells of my body. Yeah cells they are they are given the air i feel it's it's just such a sense of security uh, wow how what a beautiful way to put it it's such a sense of security that the breath is always going to be there or and if you think about it jesse hum like i used to feel very secure with with my mother for example and i used to take her for granted the most just cheese ke sath hum secure feel karte we just take it for granted we're like that thing is always going to stay there in fact, it should be the opposite. security we have to take care of it so much. We have to be so mindful of it. Because if it goes, then it will devastate us. You know, it will be a big problem. So the things that make us feel secure, thank you so much for sharing, Nadeep. Um, I, I agree. And it's just also that permission, right? And it's just... Um, we we give it permission, we allow it to enter, but the breath is also not regretting anything. It's just continuing to nourish us, be with us, you know? Just like, once again, going back to that example of the mother, like it's just nourishing. It's, she was just nourishing, uh, whether I took her for granted or not. But she was a human being. Maybe sometimes she was like thinking, oh my God, what ungrateful children I have. The breath doesn't think that. No? The breath just keeps going. Um, thank you so good much. Thought. Good thought. Good thought. Yeah, like as we had discussed, and it just like it's so the breath is so selfless, right? We are breathing because we want to survive and we need oxygen and all the science behind that. But what breath has, what what interest the breath has, the air has <laughs> nothing like it. it's a pure uh, act of uh, selflessness. So we there's so much to learn from nature and the surroundings, oh. right? So this is just beautiful. Thank you for bringing this up. Yeah. I'm loving it. Yes. And we're going to, um, what I want us to do now is maybe we can, maybe we can do, so this is, um, it is actually a guided mindful breathing um, uh, meditation. Yeah, mindful breathing, basically. It's not meditation. But all meditations are breathing. I learned that 20 years ago. Okay, meditation is not just chanting, chanting something. Meditation is also just focusing on something, basically. So we're going to um, like just listen to this and try to follow as much as you can um, what they're trying to ask us to do. Just, you know, now that we've learned so much about the breath and now that we love it so much and we, we appreciate it so much, let's just focus on it too. Mindful breathing. Please settle into your chair, taking a comfortable position. Let the shoulders drop, relax the arms by your side. Place the hands in a comfortable position on your lap. Close the eyes if it feels comfortable or if you prefer, take a soft gaze towards the floor. Gently bring your awareness to the breath. Take a moment to notice how you're breathing. Is the breath slow or rapid? Is it deep or shallow? 
simply notice the breath exactly as it is. Now gradually, with every breath in and out, allow the breath to be a little slower and deeper. Feel the abdomen gently raise and expand with every breath in and soften and contract with every breath out. If your mind gets distracted, that's okay. Bring it back to the breath. Continue to breathe in and out with long, slow breaths, breathing in and breathing out slowly from the abdomen. You can continue to do this for a few more breaths. When you are ready, bring your awareness back to the body and the surrounding space. Find any stretching or movement that your body needs, moving gently and slowly, coming back to your space, coming back to your body awareness. When you're ready, you may open the eyes. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. So this was just one of the, the techniques, um, not techniques, but just one of the guided breathing sessions. Um, there are so many like that that you can find. Um, but if you wanted to make it a practice for, let's say, I want to practice for half an hour, or I want to do, um, you know, make uh, mindfulness, mindful breathing a part of my daily routine. You don't even need a video. You can just focus on your breath. If you like music, relaxed feel, you can play some music in the background, which is your favorite music. And just focusing on your breathing, that's all we're doing, right? Um, it's not, we don't have props for any of You know, like when we work out, um, when you search, this, uh, it was locked down and we were not going to gyms and stuff. People were searching for how to do uh, gymming at home without any equipment. If equipment work out This is breathing. You don't need any equipment. You only need your body. Right? You only need a conscious mind that is focusing on the breathing. So that is something that we can do. Um, I'm thinking we can take a little break right now. Five minutes break. And then we can continue. What do you guys think? Okay. Just because we've ended this thought, Vidya, Uzmabaji, Jesse, we have to check this I had thought like around 7.25, 7.30, I thought, but I just feel that it, it just seems gentle, but it's okay. It's up to you, whatever you guys think. Yes, okay. Perfect. Yeah, five minutes. Let's, let's take a quick washroom break and then we can rejoin because it's going to be a long three hour session. Yeah. So, Quick break. Kisi ko pani vega pina hai, chai coffee leni hai. Anything, grab something to eat or drink and go to washroom and we'll be back within five minutes. So five minutes. It's 7.15 according to me. 7.20 we'll start again. Okay, we'll, we'll start sharp at 7.20. Thank then. you. Kala Jan, patch mid ki break, patch mid me at him. Okay, patch mid me.
be getting back. Navita, I was going to see my auntie. So I told my auntie that you take a little break. I didn't have a break for the mask. She said, I don't have a break. I'm taking notes. And she's taking notes. She said, this is very interesting. Yay. I'm so glad. I'm going to turn on the camera. Yes. 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 Is everyone back? Should we begin? Maybe I'll wait for Vidya to tell me if it's good to go. Thank you, Sandhya. Yeah, Fazia. मैंने नोट भी लिए जब कभी मैं भूल जाऊंगी आंटी मैंने क्या बोला और मैं स्ट्रेस में घूम रही होंगी मुझे समझ नहीं आ रहा होगा मैं खुद की एडवाइस खुद ही भूल जाऊंगी फिर मैं आपके पास आऊंगी आपने नोट्स बनाए हैं आप मुझे बताएं उस वक्त आप मुझे बताना राइट या विद्या वर बैक वर गुड गुड Um, okay, so we have talked about two things that we can practice on a daily basis. Mindfulness ke liye do cheeze hain. Ek to focusing on our breath. Or dusri. You know, I'm a teacher, so I always ask people to tell me, like, okay, what did I talk about? <laughs> um, so one was focusing on the breath. surroundings yeah yeah okay so just be noticing the miracles just noticing the little miracles that are happening around mm -hmm. us okay we're still have focusing on the breath okay so i'm going to share my screen one more time um before i do that okay so another thing that is jo humne bahut pehle shuru mein discuss kari thi remember the three a's we were talking about awareness acknowledgement and acceptance so um when we think of those things i lost something about my presentation when we think of those things it helps us to observe basically hum keh rahe the remember don't engage with stuff just observe it so one daily mindfulness practice we can do is observing our thoughts and it only comes with a lot of practice observing our thoughts but doing it in a way that we don't engage with those thoughts we only observe them right ab thoughts to hamare dimag mein aate hain we are we are like those people just say ek tool hai na remember like imagine we have a hammer and we're trying to nail something on the wall अभी हमने उसको नेल कर दिया देन वॉट वी डू यू पट दैमर अवे टूल था हैमर यूज हो गया उसको हमने साइड पे रख दिया वी डोंट स्टॉप आर माइंड माइंड का जो काम था वो हो गया है आपने जो भी कुछ सोचना था वो सोच लिया है इट्स डन बट यू डोंट पुट दैट टूल अवे वी कीप यूजिंग इट यूजिंग इट यूजिंग इट इमेजिन करें अगर हम वो हैमर लेके सारा दिन घर में बैठे हैं हाथ में पकड़ा हुआ है हैमर जो भी हम कर रहे हैं हैमर लेके कर रहे हैं we're going to cause more damage than good you know the hammer's purpose was to nail it it's done it it's it's over now we need to put it away so when we observe our thoughts it just means just see just when your mind is trying to engage with it stop and just make it see what the thought is that you're having right now 
एक एग्जाम्पल उसके लिए आई फाउंड दिस रियली इंटरेस्टिंग पिक्चर सो लेट्स यू आर हैविंग अगेटिव थॉट यू आर हैविंग अगेटिव थॉट अबाउट योर सेल्फ कि नहीं आई एम नॉट गुड इनाफ और समथिंग अबाउट मी इज नॉट राइट नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ जस्ट एंगेजिंग विद दैट थॉट कि नहीं मैं गुड इनफ नहीं हूँ और मैं क्यों नहीं हूँ और मैं ऐसा नहीं हो सकती हूँ और मुझे अच्छा होना है या जो भी उसकी जगह लेट्स नोटिस that i'm having this thought i know it's like a a little bit deeper but that's how it works that's how mindfulness works you know you become the observer of your thought when you start to notice when you start to observe that i'm thinking i'm not good enough ha huh? is waqt mein ye soch rahi hu ki main achhi like i'm not i'm not doing what i need to do or um you know something is wrong with me right away what we have done is we have put a distance between that thought and between us we have stopped to identify with that thought ha wo kon like main keh rahi hu ki is waqt main soch rahi hu ki i am not good enough so all of a sudden i am separate from the thought that's happening in my mind right i have become separate i am the one who is noticing i am the one who is observing I am the one who is saying that you know this is not right that is not right or this is what I'm thinking about right now you know so I have become different separate from my thoughts or you do the book kind of the power of now it that's all it talks about over and over in different ways like how not to identify with your mind hum log jo hamare mind mein chal raha hai we just think that that's us that's not us that's our mind that's what our mind is doing to us so we have to stop take a step back and just observe our thoughts right um so this is one good way to observe basically mindfulness kya karta hai the observation what it does it it is it disrupts disrupts it interruption la deta hai um from our problem of over overthinking jo hum overthink karte hain na sara din kisko ye problem hai mujhe to bahut zyada hai um just overthinking overthinking of stuff i know I think at some point किसी ना किसी फेज पे हम सबको हुई है ये इशू राइट ओवर थिंकिंग अबाउट कोई सर्टन इशू कईयों की आदत ही बन जाती है देन यू नो लाइक यू बिकम सो यूज टू योर माइंड थिंकिंग सो मच दैट दैट्स ऑल यू आर डूइंग सो ऑब्जर्विंग योर थॉट्स इज अ गुड वे टू डिसरप्ट दैट प्रोसेस यू स्टॉप योर माइंड फ्रॉम गोइंग इन टू लूप्स यू नो एंड इट पुट्स सम स्पेस बिटवीन यू एंड द रिएक्शन यू हैव सो let's say you have thought that you're not good enough all of a sudden you might start feeling disappointed you might feeling dejected you might feeling um you might start feeling depressed about yourself so jo aapka reaction hai is thought ka wo delay ho jata hai usme disruption aa jata hai because now you have started to notice yourself oh i'm thinking this hmm, i wonder why i'm thinking this but just accepting that that's what you're thinking right now is a really powerful way of using mindfulness aapko pata hai mind maine so there is another person who is popular these days i don't know these days but um unki bahut uh, uh, meditations hain um his name is muji muji i don't know what his complete name is but he goes by muji so he says the mind is always just putting on a show for us you know agar audience nahi doge aap mind ko to mind wo show put up put up karna band kar dega you know so he says the mind can only perform if it has an audience so when you give way more importance to the mind than necessary then it will stop like when you give way more importance then it keeps performing you know aap kisi cheez ko like as a teacher i don't know how many of you have experience in the teaching field but um you know when some kids are asking for your attention and you keep giving them that attention they keep asking for it they keep doing things जिसमें आप उनको अटेंशन देते रहें देते रहें देते रहें देते रहें देते रहें जब आप उसको इग्नोर करना शुरू कर देते हैं किसी सर्टन बिहेवियर को देन दे स्टॉप परफॉर्मिंग नो देन देर लाइक ओके अभी तो कोई फायदा नहीं है द टीचर इज नॉट रियली लुकिंग एट मी सो लेट मी नॉट डू दिस सो वी हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट ऑब्जर्विंग अवर थॉट्स इज अ वेरी गुड वे टू स्टॉप द माइंड फ्रॉम परफॉर्मिंग सम अदर वेज सो वी नाउ वी टॉक्ट अबाउट नोटिसिंग द मेरिकल्स वी टॉक्ट अबाउट focusing on the breath breathing and we've talked about observing our thoughts to uske alawa aur kuch cheeze hain jo hamari mindfulness ki daily practice mein aa sakti hain 
Here are some examples. So one of them, for example, is mindful eating. Abhi Ajkal, my husband is very upset with me. Like he is super annoyed or he cannot wait ki meri presentation kab khatam ho. Kyunki all I'm doing for the past few days, jib se mein sochi hoon, mein ne aapke saath kya kya share karna hai. I've been saying, nahi nahi, hume TV nahi dekhna chahi khane ke saath, you know, let's just focus on the food. Prashanta, bohat jaldi kha rahe hai khana, thoda aram se khaye. Aap chal rahe hai, aap saath mein phone pe baat kar rahe hai, aap saar karte ho, you can't do that. So, I've been focusing so much on his mindfulness that he, he can't wait for my, the session to be over. But I guess it's making me realize not just for him, but for me too. Like we always want to, you know, like let's just relax. Let's watch something and eat our food. We don't even know what we're eating. Just khane ko itni mehnat se banaya tha. We didn't even realize. Wo kaise do minute mein khatam bhi ho gaya? Or kaise uska kya taste tha, kya nahi tha? You know, you, you focus on it, on it for a second and then you're like, you're done. If any of you have done any courses, any formal workshops on mindfulness, उसमें एक टैंजरीन को खाने um, का बहुत एग्जांपल यूज करते हैं लाइक दे मेक यू ईट अ टैंजरीन टू एक्सपीरियंस माइंडफुलनेस एक ऑरेंज को लेके और फिर वो आपको दे मेक यू रियलाइज हाउ द एंटायर यूनिवर्स इज इन दैट ऑरेंज एंड हाउ यू आर कंज्यूमिंग इट एंड हाउ यू कैन माइंडफुली ईट इट मैं तो काम पे लेके जाती हूँ ऑरेंज आई एम डन माई लंच एंड देन ऑरेंज यहाँ पे चल रहा है मैं काम कर रही हूँ साथ में ऑरेंज कब खोला कब खाया कब खत्म हुआ और मेरा हाथ जा रहा है अभी ओके लेट मी गेट द लास्ट स्लाइस इट्स नॉट इवन देयर बिकॉज इट्स डन राइट कंप्लीटली माइंडलेस ईटिंग सो माइंडफुल ईटिंग इज वन वे वी कैन ब्रिंग माइंडफुलनेस इन टू आवर लाइफ लाइक आर टंग एक्सपीरियंस इज सो मेनी डिफरेंट टेस्ट इन वन डे वॉट अ मेरिकल दैट इज एंड जस्ट टू एक्सपीरियंस दैट जस्ट टू बी माइंडफुल ऑफ दैट इज अ वैल्यू एडिशन इन आवर लाइफ commute when you're driving when you're riding the bus hum log kitna traffic se pareshan rehte hain hum log kitna um like the time it takes to cover the distance se pareshan rehte hain you know when am i when am i going to reach there mujhe yaad hai jab main um like when you when i used to ride the bus to go somewhere um after the first few times ke you know like how long is this ride going to be you know wo din kab aayenge when i don't have to take the bus this is too stressful this this the driver is going to take a break mujhe next bus pata nahi milegi nahi mile you know like it was so stressful but then after that i just changed my mindset and i thought this is a chauffeur driven drive like someone is driving for me i am not having to drive i can see the sky and the clouds and the trees i can see and notice people I can take this time to focus on my breathing. I can do so many things. So when you're driving, you know, like maybe you're just listening to the music. Traffic will always be there. You know, traffic. You cannot control traffic. Like um, Fazia was saying earlier, like you cannot create certain uh, control certain situations. We can only control our reactions to it. So we can make our commutes mindful. Um, हम माइंडफुलनेस अपने चोर्स में डेली डेली जो हम काम करते हैं उनमें ला सकते हैं दिस वन इज रियली हार्ड फॉर मी दो जब मैं अपने सिंक में डिशेस देखती हूँ इट्स वेरी हार्ड टू बी माइंडफुल एंड आई डोंट नो कि साउथ एशियन फैमिलीज को ऐसा कुछ यू नो लाइक वरदान यू नो वट वरदान इज लाइक इन इन उर्दूट इज लाइक अ ब्लेसिंग दी हुई है मिली हुई है कि आवर सिंक आर ऑलवेज फुल माई सिंक इज ऑलवेज फुल मैं कहीं बाहर से खा के आती हूँ बाहर से लाइक वी बोथ went outside we ate somewhere as a complete family vapas aaye 10 minute ke andar andar the sink starts getting full i don't understand how that happens but um the what what tiknat han says <laughs> this guy is trying to tell me that maybe that is going to be me time choose uh like uh, consider washing the dishes as your me time he says you're always looking for time टाइम कम पड़ गया टाइम कम पड़ गया टाइम कम पड़ गया यू डोंट यू नेवर हैव इनफ टाइम मेक ऑल टाइम योर टाइम ही सेज यू नो स्मेल द सोप पुट द फील द सोप फील द वाटर रनिंग ऑन योर हैंड्स फील दैट दिस इज माय टाइम यू नो आई कैन बी विद दीस डिशेस आई कैन बी विद माय सेल्फ लेट मी जस्ट स्पेंड दिस टाइम विद माय सेल्फ आई फाइंड इट हार्ड बट इट्स अ गुड थॉट यू नो अम फनी स्टोरी मेरी मदर इन लॉ 
शी जब भी वो चाय पीती हैं तो मेरे फादर इन लॉ हमेशा बोलते हैं कि चलो जी चाय का टाइम हो गया जी आ जाओ जी बैठे बातें करें एंड मम्मा इज ऑलवेज लाइक मेरी चाय पीने का टाइम है मेरे नाल गलना ना करो यू नो मेरे से बातें मत करो मेरा चाय पीने का टाइम है इस वक्त सो दिस इज अ रनिंग जोक इन आवर फैमिली के पापा बोलते हैं कि अच्छा एंड देन व्हेन दे गो फॉर अ वॉक पापा कहते चलो जी चलो सैर करके आने हैं अपा है ना दे हम सैर करके आते हैं और वापस आते हैं जब तो हमें लगता है कि कितने रिलैक्स चलो उनका दोनों का टुगेदर टाइम वापस आते हैं परेशान दोनों जने पापा इज ऑलवेज लाइक तेरी माँ तो माँ तो मेरे गल ही नहीं कर दी वो तो कहती मैं वॉक कर दो जी देखो मेरे गल ना करो यू नो मेरे से बातें मत करो मैं वॉक करूँ कहते मैं कब बातें करूँ तुम्हारी मम्मी से उनका वॉक का टाइम है तो बातें मत करो चाय का टाइम है तो बातें मत करो सो वी इट्स अ रनिंग जोक लाइक वी लाक अबाउट इट बट आई थिंक मम्मा माइंडफुली कर रही है शायद वो सारी चीजें राइट वेन शी इज फोकसिंग ऑन द टी शी फोकसिंग ऑन दैट टी वन शी इज वॉकिंग शी वॉन्ट्स टू वॉक लाइक शी वॉन्ट्स टू सी यू यू नो शी वॉन्ट्स टू बी कंफर्टेबल एंड फोकस जस्ट ऑन हर वॉक so um just bringing mindfulness in our daily times um jo um jo time wali baat hai na like thikna than says all time can be your time mera actually me time mai sochti thi it begins after 10 pm in the night you know mujhe lagta tha ki now everything is done abhi koi phone nahi bajega abhi hopefully sink mein dishes nahi kahin se aayengi um because everyone is asleep and it's just you know me sitting on my couch and this is now my time um but our very good friend fazia murtaza uh rap ki workshop jo hui unhone she gave me a really good pointer she made me think about how me time should not come from my wellness time which is my sleep time that is also part of my wellness why is that time coming from um like why is my time coming from my sleeping time you know so now i had a problem like okay now i have a problem like ye to baat theek hai like i should be focusing on the sleep like i was willing to sacrifice my sleep in order to get my me time but that's not right for me for my body the most prized possession that i have which is my body it's not right so um what i then like the solution for that is what thik nath han says like din ke jo times hain din mein jo aap cheeze karte hain like he was saying when um a parent spends time with their child getting them to do homework don't think okay jab ye khatam ho jayega ye ek ni kaam khatam hota main apna me time kahan se laun you know like make that your me time you know um so that's one thing that we can do during the day thinking about what my me time is and then checking in with yourself so um many workshop attend ki usme someone gave me this really cool technique it's called they call it stop and drop stop and drop so every once in a while you just check in with yourself um during the day kabhi bhi jaise you know wo jab um uh, uh baaji what do we call it jab hamari jab aapka jab prayer ka jab wazu se pehle kya hote hain azan mm -hmm. right azan. azan so that is like checking in आप जो भी कर रहे हैं यू हियर दैट एंड यूर चेकिंग इन विथ विथ दैट वॉइस सो सो इन अ रिलीजियस प्रैक्टिस इट माइट बी चेक इन एंड थैंक गॉड इन जस्ट माइंडफुल प्रैक्टिस इट माइट बी जस्ट स्टॉप एंड ड्रॉप और ड्रॉप का क्या मतलब है सो वट वट दिस लेडी चोल्ड और वट दिस लेडी डज इज शी सेज आई ड्रॉप माई शोल्डर्स she says every time i check in i drop my shoulders i just relax them kehti jab hum kuch bahut zyada soch rahe hote hain our shoulders become tense we don't even realize it but our shoulders are tense and when i drop them i consciously relax them the problems haven't gone anywhere but i have decided that i'm going to relax my shoulders for now just check in just even if it's for a minute even if it's for 15 seconds you have just stopped what you're doing and you have dropped your shoulders um what she that that woman what she also suggested that some people do is they smile smile ki koi koi reason nahi hota to bhi they check in with themselves what they do is i'm going to smile right now you know just imagine check in karti ho it's usually when i take huh, that's my check in with me so i really liked what she said like instead of doing that 
जस्ट ट्राई टू स्माइल टेक अ डीप ब्रीदर फिर चले जाना वापस अपनी प्रॉब्लम्स में अपने उसी दुनिया में अपनी उसी सोच में अपनी उसी थॉट्स में बट गिव योरसेल्फ सेल्फ सम टाइम टू चेक इन विद योरसेल्फ मेरा सेशन हो रहा है कौन आ रहा है वो एक चलो बात करेंगे बिग आंटी का स्क्रीन ऑन वो माइक ऑन एनीवे सो the next thing is mindful listening it would be such a pleasure to engage in um like a really nice listening convert in a, in a really nice conversation with someone without our phones coming in the way you know ya to kisi ki ping ho rahi hai ya kisi ko notification aa rahi hai ya kisi ka phone aa raha hai ya kisi ko oh let me let me ya koi reminder baj raha hai ya koi alarm all the time we're not really engaging in mindful listening anymore right to just be able to have a conversation with someone where the other person is listening to you with full attention doesn't happen very often these days um but that is one way we can choose so one rule they say i don't know if it's always possible one rule they say is give more importance to people than to things you know तो हमें लगता है कि इट्स एन इमरजेंसी अगर फोन बजाए बट नहीं इट्स एन इमरजेंसी दैट दिस पर्सन इज सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी एंड आई एम टॉकिंग टू देम दैट इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज द इमरजेंसी दिस शुडंट बी योर इमरजेंसी वी शुड बी एबल टू गो बैक टू इट किसी को याद है वो टाइम रोटरी फोन्स वाला या इवन लैंडलाइन फोन्स वाला आपके मैसेज कोई छोड़ देता था आप घर से बाहर गए हैं द मैसेज वुड बी ऑन योर फोन एंड यू वुड कम बैक एंड यू वुड लिसन टू दैट मैसेज अभी हम बाहर हैं वी नीड टू मेक ऑल आर प्लान राइट देन जब भी किसी का टेक्स्ट आया है तो तब भी सब कुछ प्लानिंग करनी है सो आई थिंक दैट इज समथिंग दैट वी कैन माइंडफुली ट्राई टू अवॉइड बिकॉज समटाइम्स इट्स कॉजिंग अस मोर स्ट्रेस देन रिलीफ यू नो हमें लगता है कि रिलीफ मिल जाएगा हम जल्दी से अभी काम कर लेते हैं कि ईजी हो जाएगा लाइफ बट आई थिंक इंस्टेड ऑफ मेकिंग इट ईजी इट्स मेकिंग इट हार्ड एंड देन जस्ट अ रिमाइंडर दैट daily mindfulness only comes with regular practice regular 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 practice hum ek din kar lete hain ya ek hafta bhi kar lete hain and then we we leave it because we think okay nahi abhi to nahi main kar sakti hu abhi to you know it's stressful mujhe presentation prepare karni hai don't tell me to be mindful when i'm eating i have to decide what i have to present to people so i need to eat and need to do my thing right away but it's just an easy way for me to think that something else is an emergency than the present moment than the breathing that i need to do in the present moment than the eating than the listening you know so just those little mindfulness practices are um, i feel they go a long way in in reducing our stress kisi aur ki any other mindfulness practices that people follow or people feel they can follow just up Sorry, दोबार बोले माइंडफुल वॉकिंग माइंडफुल वॉकिंग ओ माई गुडनेस वाइल गोइंग फॉर मॉर्निंग वॉक सो इट्स जस्ट ब्यूटिफुल इट इज ब्यूटिफुल हैव यू हैड एन एक्सपीरियंस विद इट क्या आई 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 जस्ट स्टार्टेड लाइक दिस यू आर स्टार्टेड माइंडफुलनेस प्रैक्टिसिंग तो सुबह सुबह वॉक के लिए निकलती थी तो बस निकल ही जाती थी आ जाती थी देन वी हैड अ सेशन इन एम डब्ल्यू सी विद श्वेता एंड एट टाइम आई गॉट इंट्रोड्यूस टू दिस टाइम सो एवर सिंस दैन वेन एवर आई एम आउट तो उसकी खुशबू को फूलों की खुशबू को हवा को हर चीज को तो रोज में उसी गली से गुजरती हूँ लेकिन उस रोज अलग अलग चीजें एक्सपीरियंस करती हूँ इट हैज बिकम सच ए ब्यूटीफुल लाइक मी टाइम इट इज एक्चुअली आई एम वॉकिंग बट इट हैज बिकम मी टाइम absolutely me. yeah or um so i once went for like a mindful walking session jo mai jack miller pehle bata rahi thi jo educator hain um he's a professor and you know he's he's all about spirituality and education like mindfulness ko education mein kaise lay so ek unki workshop thi it was about mindful walking so i was a beginner at that time so mujhe laga maybe he's going to talk about like when you're walking how to engage your mind in like positive thoughts ya jo bhi but i went there और उनकी एंटायर वन आवर सेशन वॉज लाइक एक बहुत बड़ा सा हॉल था एंड वी वर जस्ट वॉकिंग लाइक ही वुड से ओके अभी आप बीस मिनट या जो भी टेन मिनट्स वॉक करेंगे देन आई विल रिंग दिस चाइन कोई बेल या कुछ उनके पास था जो वो रिंग कर रहे थे और उसके बाद यूल ऑल कम बैक यू कैन ऑल शेयर योर एक्सपीरियंस यू वॉन्ट टू एंड देन यूल गो बैक टू वॉकिंग 
like, what am I doing though? Like, tell me what to do when I'm walking. He's like, you're only walking. And then he didn't tell me in the beginning, but then gradually I realized he was trying to teach us, notice yourself when you're walking. Notice your miracles that are happening when you're walking. Notice up kaise chalte hain. Notice um, the parts of your body that are involved in your walking, right? So, um, and just like you said, if you're outdoors, then just there's so much to notice. We know John kehte hain ki ek, ek beautiful vacation pe mujhe jana hai. Agar aap picture le apni jahan pe aap walk kar rahe hain, to aisa hi lagega ki aap vacation pe aaye hue hain. You know? <laughs> so, I just feel that mindful walking is a very um thank you Vidya for sharing. It's a very powerful strategy too. Anything else? Or mindfulness hum apni life mein kaise la sakte hain? I'm not sure ki wo mindfulness mein aata hai ya nahi, but uh, I'm trying to increase my productivity. तो वी ऑल है ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स अगर काम ज्यादा है तो स्पेशली किसी को फोर्टी एट तो नहीं मिलेंगे तो जिसमें है एडजस्ट करना ही पड़ेगा एंड ऑल दैट वी आर कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग ऑन द स्लीप तो एट सर्टन एज एज वी ऑल आर एजिंग तो वो थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट हो जाता है तो टू गिव जस्टिस टू स्लीप जितने घंटे बच जाते हैं हाउ टू बी मोर प्रोडक्टिव टू डू अ माइंडफुल एक्टिविटीज वॉट एवर यू आर डूइंग बींग माइंडफुल तो हमें लगता है हम काम कर रहे हैं फोकस में and we have like all to do list aaj itne sare 50 kaam karne hai usme se 25 hi ho pate hai right but uh, i was uh, following someone on social media and youtube yahan se like bahut saare logon se dekh ke then that person was saying ki aap jo kaam kar rahe ho don't have a to do list aap bas jo kaam kar rahe ho usi pe focus kare koi distraction nahi no phone call no talking no nothing just 100% focus on that particular uh, uh, एक्टिविटी ओनली दैट वे यू आर मोर प्रोडक्टिव काम जल्दी फिनिश हो जाते हैं एंड टू डू लिस्ट की जरूरत ही नहीं होती बिकॉज यू आर यू आर एबल टू फिनिश द टास्क बिफोर दैट एंड यू आर डूइंग द टास्क जो भी आपका प्रेजेंट टास्क है वो कर रहे हैं वो हो गया और फिर आप नेक्स्ट जो भी आपका प्रेजेंट टास्क है वो कर रहे हैं सो यू आर लिविंग इन द प्रेजेंट टेक्निक और आपको पता है जब कुछ साल पहले लाइक कुछ साल तो नहीं आएगा इट्स बिन मेनी 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 इयर्स मल्टी टास्किंग का कितना लाइक इवन नाउ लाइक इन कॉर्पोरेट वर्क प्लेसेज रेजिमेज में भी लिखा होता था वी वॉन्ट अ कैंडिडेट हु कैन मल्टी टास्क इन फास्ट पेस्ड एनवायरमेंट दैट इज लाइक कम्प्लीटली द ऑपोजिट ऑफ माइंडफुलनेस राइट इफ यू थिंक अबाउट इट द वर्क कल्चर जिनमें हम जाते हैं दे आर नॉट डिजाइन टू बी माइंडफुल स्पेसेज दे आर डिजाइन टू मैस विद आर माइंड दे आर डिजाइन टू मेक आर माइंड मोर फुल दैन मेक अस माइंडफुल right so yeah it's uh, like what you said vidya ke just focusing on the present doing your task and just moving on to the next thing you know kyunki hamari jab to do lists ban jati hain then we're also stressing about oh my god my to do list i'm only adding to it mera to kaam to kabhi khatam hi nahi ho raha hai ye to aur badhta ja raha hai right to bas ye tha ki no phone call no text no nothing no break no nothing bas wahi kaam karna hai koi distraction yeah Just focusing on what you do not understand कि वो काम करते करते हम कितने मल्टी टास्क बच्चों को खाना दे रहे ये कर रहे वो कर रहे ये आ गया पार्सल आ गया फोन आ गया किसी को टेक्स का रिप्लाई कर रहे बीच में ईमेल भी कर रहे तो वो एक घंटे का काम दो घंटे हो जाता है एंड वी आर कम्प्लेनिंग की वी आर नॉट एबल टू डू इट्स नॉट अवर परफॉर्मेंस और अवर प्रोडक्टिविटी इट्स ऑल अबाउट द माइंडफुलनेस एब्सोलूटली we benefit so we we reap so many benefits well what it, what happens when we're not mindful jo ki hum sara din hi hote hain these are some of the things that happen relive reliving our stress that's what we're doing hame kabhi stress hua kisi cheez ka we relive it when we are non mindful hai na ek bar to ho gaya stress ek bar to situation aa gayi aise jo problematic thi but now we're living in that situation over and over and over again and we're continuing to create that stress for ourselves we also feel very scattered we feel jaise wo movie ka example tha remember in the beginning who was trying to cook but he was feeling scattered and lost and overwhelmed we are unsure jaise um just like how vidya was saying like our mind Don't make it go in all these different directions. ठीक है तो Facebook notification आ गई. I will check it later. Right now, it's not my time to check it. It's my time to finish what I'm finishing. So when we're mindful, when we're not mindful, 
we're scattered and confused and we're all over the place. Mindfulness is like a, like a jhadu, you know, like a broom. Our mind is so scattered in so many things, it just kind of wraps it up and it takes one place. You know? So um, that is something that mindfulness can do. And let's see what not being mindful can do to you. You also make reckless decisions. You are reckless in the actions that you do. So reckless, just say um, something like you, you can make mistakes. You can make major mistakes. I don't know if you were, uh, if you remember that news that came. Jab first week of school, um, back to school, tha, September, mein, there was a news that a bus driver left a kid on the bus at the end of the day. So wo bus mein jitne bhi bachche the, unko drop off kiya, and one of the kids was sitting in their bus, but they forgot to drop them off, you know? And it was almost like an hour or two hours. Thankfully, it wasn't like a really, really, really hot day. You can imagine getting up good hot a bus um, and the kid is sitting inside. So it turned into a really, obviously it turned into a big thing. And that, that bus driver was not, I, I think like there was a motion that they shouldn't be allowed to drive back again. But that's the thing, like, that's just an example. When you're non-mindful, you end up making very bad decisions sometimes. Right? Bad for you, bad for other people. Another thing that happens when you're non-mindful is that you have positive efforts for something. If you don't have any positive results, because you're not mindful. So for example, I have a lot of issues in my life. And the physiotherapist had given me a lot of exercises to do. When I was doing those exercises, they weren't helping me. 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 They weren't they weren't really working because I was trying to look at exercises because I don't have time for exercises. So when I do exercise, I'll do this with me, 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 I'll do this with me. And I'm telling the physiotherapist that you are not giving me good exercises. These exercises are not working for me. You know? But then I decided that I'm not doing any work. I'm just going to work on myself. And when I started to work on myself, the same exercises worked. You know, um, just because I, I was mindful. I thought, what am I doing? I'm doing it with care. Okay, the physiotherapist told me to stretch my arm in this way, in this direction, using this um, band for these many seconds. Let me focus on that. And I started to get better. So when we're non-mindful, even our positive result, uh, positive efforts don't yield positive results. When we're non-mindful, we're never refreshed. We're never refreshed, no matter what. Nirendra, do you want to say something? No, I'm sorry, I'm leaving now. Okay. We are never refreshed. Hum jitna marzi rest kare, hum jo mar, jis marzi super comfortable chair pe ja ke bethe, we don't feel relaxed or refreshed. Hum hamesha exhausted feel karte when we're not mindful. Um, we also, just as we said earlier, we notice the miracles when we're mindful. We also don't see what we have when we're non-mindful. You know, we have so many things, but we don't appreciate them. You know, we don't see them. Um, we, when our knee hurts, then we see our knee. Then we see our knee. Then we see our knee. Oh, I had a knee, but we don't remember how much it's working for us all day long when it's well. So we don't see what we have when we're non-mindful. And lastly, but it's very important because I feel that many times I feel very overwhelmed in, in all the tasks that I create around myself or, or the world that I live in. Um, sometimes we feel lost. We're not sure what to do. Kisi se poocho, kaisi chal rahi zindagi. Pas chal rahi hai ji, guzar rahi hai. Pata nahi kaisi chal rahi hai, you know? lost I have an uncle who I love having mindfulness conversations with. Every time I call him, he says, on top of the world. How can you be on top of the world all the time, uncle? How can it be? He says, son, because I don't have a mind, I don't think about it. You know, like he's trying to be humble. Um, basically, what he's trying to say is, I just keep my thoughts out of me. You know, I'm living in my head and I'm living in my head. I'm living in my head and I'm living in my head. I'm living in my head and I'm living in my head. I'm living in my head and I'm living in my head. I don't think I would feel 
that great. So um, we feel lost and overwhelmed. Just like that movie ka jo example hai, once again, when he was cooking, if he had been mindful, ke, okay, mujhe cook karna hai, mujhe ye ye chahiye, mujhe itna jaga chahiye, mujhe itna saman chahiye, so he wouldn't feel lost and, and uh, frazzled and overwhelmed with like losing his spoon, losing his ingredients. It happens to us all the time. Um, some people, like some people I know, they lock the door, they come back to check it, they come back to check it, they come back to check it, like teen ya char baar aur tab bhi bas apne man ko tasalli dete hain ke chalo, thik hai, ab chale jate hain, kya karein, you know, kari di auga lock. But if you put that key in the lock and you use the three A's, okay, okay, I'm aware I have this key and I'm putting it in the lock and you acknowledge it, you say, dekho, maine chabi lock mein laga di hai aur lock ko ban kar diya hai and then you accept, like, look, I just checked ke maine um, lock laga di hai. I think you wouldn't want to come back and, and recheck it. A moment of mindfulness can save you so much stress and overwhelm and uh, you know, like you're driving and you're thinking, oh my God, when lock key, I don't know what I don't know. Should I turn around? Should I go back? Like a lot of people do that. Kisi ko stole ke liye hota hai. Mene gas band kari hai ke nahi kari hai, right? Um, so non-mindfulness sometimes um, just, just makes us continue all these stressful situations. Um, what I want us to now take a step back and look at is the bigger picture of mindfulness, the bigger picture. Maybe I'll just go back for a second, actually. So, if we're mindful, right? And if we're mindful, it's the opposite of this, right? Technically, we're opposite of this. But let's take a look, like, let's think about what the bigger picture is. The bigger picture always helps us to realize the purpose of something. Like, why am I mindful? Okay, I'm focusing on my breath. Why? I'm focusing on this present moment. You know? Um, purpose I have so much to do. I can't also add one more thing to do, you know, like present moment to focus. Um, so let's take a look at what the bigger picture of mindfulness is. Basically, jab aap mindful hai, to kyun hai, kyun hai? Um, the why questions are always the heart, like are always the heart of everything. So, and that's what makes us see the big picture. So when you look at the big picture, you step back a minute and you know, just have a quick picture, draw it in, then you step back a minute and you take a look at the whole scene. So in the whole scene, when you have a mindful life, when you're practicing mindfulness in your daily life, you will have certain things that should be happening in your life. First level pay is your physical, physical things. Sorry, the other way. Physical things, make kya hoga? You will start to respect your body. Remember how we were saying body is one of our most prized possessions. Up imagine getting kuch bhi life mein ho If you don't have a good body, if you don't have a body, you can't, there is no point to anything. If your body doesn't work, there is no point to anything in life. So basically, you start to um, respect the body. When you're mindful eating, you're respecting your body. You're respecting the process of digestion that's happening. You're respecting the taste buds that are in your body. You're respecting how your food travel. You will become mindful of what you are eating. You will become mindful of how much you are eating when you become a mindful eater, for example. When you breathing, when you value breathing, then you start to reap the benefits anyway. Because we know that deep breathing um, uh, uh, like, uh, keeps your blood pressure in check, for example. It keeps so many diseases out of, out of um, the way for us. So when you start to value breathing, just say, there are so many people, pranayam aapne suna hoga, kitne log ek ghanta subha kehte hai ki, you know, you should always do the pranayam. What is pranayam? It is basically uh, respecting your body. It is basically valuing the breath that is coming to us. The poem that we read about the breath, all those different things that are happening, we're starting to value what we have in the form of our physical body. Um, uske alawa, if uh, you look at the big picture of mindfulness, other than the physical benefits, 
definitely clearly mental and spiritual benefits. And I only put one word there. And I said, it makes us feel awakened. So there's this really, well, mindfulness, uh, you might, some of you might know, Kate originated in the Buddhist tradition, right? Lord Buddha, ki tradition mein, um, mindfulness originated with him. And what did mindfulness lead him to? What did, so he had an eightfold path that he told us afterwards. And one of the components was mindfulness. Ultimately, Bud, Lord Bud, it led him to awakening, enlightenment, right? Um, so ultimate purpose of mindfulness is to be enlightened, is to be awakened. What I've noticed, kare, I'm not saying awake this time. We're talking about awakening. Ikutai jagna, um, or ikutai jagru khona. You know, I don't know what Urdu words are. Someone can say them if you know them. Awaken. Uh, agahi. So that's how you become agahi. Aga hune kisi cheez ko janna. Right. Agahi us cheez ko apne mein baid karna, right? Like ha. you are that thing. Yeah, perfect. So that is exactly what it is. Um, a story hai, bohat famous little story of a couple. Aap sabne shayad suni hogi. Um, I think jo my, not mythology, but jo old stories mein, un, us couple ka naam diya, the husband is Ranka and the wife is Banka. You know, it's so easy to make a story like that. Um, to Ranka or Banka, so this, there, it's a story about a, a really poor couple, Ranka and Banka, and they are very content, very poor, very, very poor, very, very content. In fact, a version has story ka usme, jo religious version usme to ye kehte hain ki Bhagwan keh rahe hain ki I want to give Ranka and Banka rewards for their contentment. I want to give them wealth. God is God wants to give them that. And Ranka and Banka are like, humko nahi chahiye. Like whatever comes their way, they just refuse it. You know, in terms of wealth and money, because they think they have enough for themselves. So one day, Ranka and Banka are going through a forest to collect some wood for their stove, for their chula. And as they're walking, Ranka is a few steps ahead of Banka. Of course, husbands always try to like to walk a few steps ahead. But they like to walk a few steps ahead. But anyway, so he's walking a few steps ahead and he notices a piece of jewelry, like gold jewelry on the ground. Or he says, oh, ho, to dekh li, but I don't want Banka to see it because she's so content. She already has what she needs. temptation na ho jaye usko ke main ye jewelry utha lo. You know, so he says, um, I, I need to do something. So he, he, with his foot, he tries to take a little bit of the mud and put it over the jewelry. So he tries to cover the jewelry. Hmm? So Banka sees what he's doing. She has already seen the piece of jewelry and she has seen the, the mitti that he's putting on top of it. So she just passes him. She doesn't stop where he is standing. She just passes him and, and, and she says, Up. Time kyun waste kar rahe hain? Mitti par mitti dal rahe hain? Chale hain aage. And for Ranka, it was like, oh my God, my wife is even more awakened than I am. I, I thought she might get tempted, but this is a story of an awakened couple, right? Like just when you know what the real value of everything is, right? Um, jab aapki... Uh, uh, real value pata hai of everything, then you don't, um, you see the bigger picture all the time. Like she's seeing the bigger picture. Like ultimately this gold, this mitti, even my body, they're made of all the same elements. Like what's the big deal in a piece of jewelry? Um, you know, it's just a combination of the same thing. And when you do that, then as Lord Buddha said, um, your suffering becomes less. You know, you're in this world and you become, you start to move towards liberation. Awakening say, hamari suffering kam hoti hai basically. So I know it's like we're getting into huge depths with mindfulness, but that was the ultimate goal of uh, mindfulness. That was the spiritual big picture of why we should practice mindfulness. So that was one thing. And then after the mental spiritual 
um, effects, there's also lifestyle changes. Hamari lifestyle may be changes that when we become mindful. When, when a person is awakened, when a person is appreciating their breath and their um, thoughts and, you know, their body, then they start to, to, to act and behave a certain way. Sabse badi baat hai jo mindfulness ki, it makes us non-judgmental. Remember how you were talking about acceptance as one of the big A's? Um, like Fazia was talking about earlier, like acceptance is a very big thing for her. Things are just the way they are. People are just the way they are. We don't have to judge every situation, every thought, every person that comes to us, right? So when you become non-judgmental, you don't even judge your own thoughts. You only observe. You don't rush to conclusions about everything that you see. And as a result of being non-judgmental, it's easier for you to become empathetic. When you non-judgmental, you know, many people say that this poverty is not actually a problem. These poor people have created this problem. I don't know if you've heard that discourse. A lot of people say that. Um, jab, you know, when you see like a beggar on the road in, in India or Pakistan or you give something to them, so many people say, don't do it, they do it like this, you know? But you do it like this, that means you're judging, you're putting your own biases into that situation and that stops you from becoming an empathetic person. I give you a very little example. Empathy is very, like being non-judgmental leads you towards um, being empathetic in very, very large ways in life. Um, we also become, um, like simplicity is, is a lifestyle feature of mindful people, you know, just no false pretenses, no layers and layers to unpack. It's just, you are who you are. You are mindful. You live in the present moment. You do what you do. And that's who you are. Right? Just like Ranka and Banka. They didn't think, Are ye jewelry ka piece hai na? Dekho, hume to nahi chahiye, but why don't we sell it? Why don't we, uh, jo bhi iske paise milenge, let's give it to the other poor people. Hmm, now you're already starting to complicate yourself. Na? Um, so just making sure that you are simple first and then um, the non-judgment and the, the empathy to, to work for others will come on its own. Mindful people are also very appreciative. Boy, they're noticing the miracles, right? They notice what they have. They um, are thankful for, for um, when they open the fridge, they are thankful that there are so many things in their fridge. When they're able to read uh, a sentence, they are thankful that they have that ability to read something. You know, um, when, when you are able to pick up the phone and call someone, you are thankful, you appreciate that. When uh, you wake up in the morning, you appreciate the fact that you woke up. You know? So uh, mindful people, they are in general very appreciative people. Also mindful people don't force things. When you're living in the present moment, as Vidya said, when you're living in that present, you finish the task that you're working on. What effort, because you have so much habit to do so much, it feels like effort. You know? um, we want to be distracted by so many other things, but just because mindful people know that art, they don't force things upon themselves. They just go with the flow. Okay, I'm just going to work on this thing and then we'll see what happens. You know? This is what I'm supposed to do right now and then we'll see what happens. Um, I, like I'm sure all the, the cultures and religions have this thing. Um, you know how they talk about you should just focus on your duty and not focus on the results of that. Right? So that is, that is going with the flow. Like just do your thing and just go with the flow. Don't worry about what's going to happen because, you know, okay, now you've done it. Just do your thing. And then the mindful people are also good at letting go of things. And that's an art. I think a pura workshop was like that letting go, but I'm sure, you know, um, there are so many perspectives to share about that. But um, it's just, it becomes easier to, to let go when we are more aware and accepting of what's going on. You know, would you leaves hand, trees, but you fall, you have to accept it. 
there's just no other way. You have to not just be aware and acknowledge them, but it's just what it is. We, when we start paying attention to um, our inner experiences, we discover a pattern also. certain feelings, certain thoughts, bar bar do loop me are. We we start to jabam notice good thing. When we don't go with the flow, when we don't engage with them, when we actually um, observe them, then we start to see, okay, what do I need to let go from here? It just becomes easier to let go when you're a mindful person in general. They're just in our mind and we just need to let them go. Uzmabaji? Thank you for sharing this. Uh, so, I'm not mindful, but I'm the one who has the mind every time full, over full, over filled. How do you do that? But these are all the things that I try to make my life a part of my life. So, these are not two different things with me. The person who is a full mind and the person who is a simple person and the person who is a non-judgmental person. No, we're going to go into the next section. And the one that I was making the next section, it was... You were... You were in the front of my mind, in the back of my mind, actually. So yeah, your mind is full, but are you, folk? and I know that we can all work on mindfulness, but um, when you are focusing, like you're trying to be non-judgmental. It's easy to be non-judgmental if you are mindful. But because you're already striving for it, I think you have started on that road. You just need to realize, okay, let me just focus on this thing and maybe I should just observe it. Maybe you already are non-judgmental. Maybe you think you are not. Maybe you think you are not mindful. Maybe you are more mindful than than you think you are. I don't know because I have many things in my mind. Auntie has not eaten food from seven to seven thirty. She eats. Okay. Okay. I have completed an assignment. 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 अच्छा कल हनिया ने जाना है उसके कौन से कपड़े मैंने अभी तक इस्तरी नहीं की ये सब कुछ दिमाग में चल रहा है ठीक है और और मैं नहीं कह सकती कि मैं यहाँ प्रेजेंट हूँ मैं मैं नहीं हूँ प्रेजेंट मैं सुन रही हूँ कोशिश कर रही हूँ और जितना सुन रही हूँ उतने खुद से क्वेश्चंस हो रहे हैं मैं किधर ह you are paying attention to all these qualities. You are even connecting it with your own self. Anyone has any thoughts about what Baji just said? Because I think it's a it's an experience that happens with all of us. I, I, okay, मैं I think Uzma Baji, आप mindful है. अगर आप mindful नहीं होती, I know you're thinking about other things. You're a good multitasker. I think <laughs> you're a good multitasker. I think you're a unique uh, unique Uzma Baji. ये आप ही कर सकती है क्योंकि अगर हम लोग ऐसे सोचे कि ये सब करना है तो हमें कुछ समझ में नहीं आएगा निविदिता क्या कह रही है सो इफ वी वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड हर वी हैव टू फोकस ऑन व्हाट शी इज सेइंग एंड देन एंड देन विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड हर अगर मैं और कुछ सोचती रहूं तो यहाँ पे जीरो होगा वो भी नहीं होगा ये भी नहीं होगा यू आर रियली गुड मल्टी टास्किंग एंड ऑल्सो टू एड टू दैट विद्या थैंक यू सो मच रेज अ वेरी गुड पॉइंट um, like you're thinking about all these things. If you end up doing all these things well, then you are paying attention to all of those things in your own way. Maybe you feel overwhelmed and maybe it is time for you to start that mindfulness conscious practice a little bit more. Um, but at the same time, maybe you already have certain things and it'll be easy. That journey might be easier for you. Maybe. My uncle had attend manage Mind management. Mind management. उसके बाद मैंने कहा कि चलो जब मैं walk करती हूँ, so I'll pay attention to that moment तो मैं song सुनती हूँ, तो मैं उसके lyrics सुनूँगी, वो पता चला song तो कब से दो गाने गुजर के पता ही नहीं मैंने। That's right. मैं कहाँ से कहाँ मेरे वो चले जाती है तो माँ। इसी तरह कल मैं किसी से मिली और मैंने कहा कि respect है कि मैं इसको नहीं छेड़ूँ दो तीन कॉल्स या मैसेजेस थे और मुझे वो लेने थे और मैं इतना गिल्टी फील कर रही थी कि नहीं मैंने उसको रिस्पेक्ट देनी थी मुझे उसको टाइम लेना था अपना ठीक है बट नहीं वो तो एक कुछ कॉल्स ऐसी आती हैं जिसे पता नहीं मैं नाइन मन मन अब भी करनी है अब भी उठानी है अब भी वो नहीं मैं उठा रही 
तो मुझे कहना पड़ता है मैं बिजी हूँ अभी नहीं कर सकती और पता है क्या है कि समटाइम्स um like i know that you are in the middle of so many things and you are trying to do so many things so well you are also caring about all the things that you do just say aap respect dena cha rahe hain aap ye nahi soch rahe ki okay ab to main mujhe to ye conversation karni padegi to padegi par waise main kitni busy hu i need to you know like you are trying to give that person that respect also um i just feel that um because you are trying to do all those things so well um i think i think there is a component of mindfulness already active right there you know and I, I, it is true it is true like you are on that journey you are not like you there might be many things abhi aap kuch apni life mein leke aani to ye jo slide hai for example this is about the big picture ultimately that's that's what mindfulness leads us towards iska ye matlab nahi hai ki agar hum uh, consciously breathing nahi kar rahe hain ya agar hum consciously meditation nahi kar rahe hain to hum empathetic nahi ho sakte we can be but if you dissect it a little bit more so you might find that that empathy is coming like why does everyone want to be around a person who listens very well to them you know that's just because that person is my from kya dete ki ha nahi nahi unke unse counseling lo ya unke paas baith ke maza aa jata hai you know we're not saying oh that's a really mindful person but it's just the way they are mindfulness is just a name given to a technique that people are following zaruri nahi hai ki aap wo naam hi dein tabhi aap mindful ho sakte hain ya tabhi aapke andar ye qualities aa sakte hain that's that's i think came also um technically jo ek picture mujhe bahut achhi lagi thi um i couldn't find that image but the bigger picture of mindfulness this is it you're beautiful atta- beautiful you're attached to nothing but you are connected to everything so you see the five elements in your body you see the same five elements in mitti in soil you see the same five elements in gold everything is connected but you're not attached to anything baaji ka to naam hi connector hai baaji so here's your answer you know um there's a reason why people call you a connector there's a reason why you enjoy you know making those connections or also um when we're contemplative when we think um about our thoughts we when we think about where our life is heading we notice those connections that different things have um but at the same time being attached to nothing and that is the hardest thing to do hum ek the way we react to situations shows us clearly that we are so attached to this thing that is why we react to certain situations the way we do hame gussa kyu aata hai because of attachment hame greed kyu paida hoti hai kisi cheez ke liye like why do we want more of something because of attachment you know so it's really a behavior of the mind that attachment and when we start observing our thoughts observing our mind instead of engaging with it then that attachment becomes a little bit lesser but yeah just th- that's the bigger picture of, of mindfulness but if you are connected with something you're not attached with that and how you are going to do that attached to nothing ye to bahut kaam karne wali cheez hai main to is pen se bhi attached hu isse shayad connect nahi hai right. You know, so you have to feel that oneness, but this is Eckhart Tolle. You know, he wrote Power of Now. Just when I said that don't identify yourself with the mind, so it's the same philosophy, and he's trying to tell you that there we're all one. Like this, this whole thing is one. That's what connection means, right? Okay, we all we have to see ourselves as part of this big universe. So, the big picture we see in mindfulness. Ki, उनके लिए दूसरों की सफरिंग भी खुद की सफरिंग जैसी होती है राइट बिकॉज दे आर कनेक्टेड टू एवरीथिंग बट दे आर नॉट अटैच टू इट इन द सेंस कि अगर उस बंदे की सफरिंग नहीं ठीक हुई तो मुझे बहुत गुस्सा आएगा और मैं बहुत स्ट्रेस में चला जाऊंगा और मैं बहुत डिप्रेस हो जाऊंगा खुद ही यू के नॉट गेट अटैच टू दैट यू आर जस्ट नोटिसिंग दैट कनेक्शन एंड ट्राइंग टू डू व्हाट यू कैन अबाउट दैट कनेक्शन सो दैट आई एज समथिंग वन थिंग आई नोटिस इज विद अ अटैच टू नथिंग एंड कनेक्ट टू एवरीथिंग is that whatever it is don't ever get revenge let the bad things happen to the other person by itself that's what i do anything anyone does anything bad to me i said i i just do that 
I'm like, okay, bad things will happen to them later on. Don't blame me. That's, that's what I do. Yeah. And just like believing in the fact that the universe is there for a plan. Like the universe, just come me part hoon, usi universe ka the other person. If a person is, is bothering you or if a situation is bothering you, all these situations, all these people, they're part of the same universe as me. The same rules of the laws of the universe apply to them as me. That helps us see the connection. And it also helps us get detached from all those things, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, thank you for sharing that, Tanya. And now let's take a look at what, uh, for our final section, let's take a look at what happens when we do see the big picture. Okay, we're sitting in our house, we're focusing on our breathing, we're not attached to things, we, we went and we did our job and we're done. Um, but mindfulness is not just a self-centered tool, if you think about it. Of course, like these practices, practices are enough on their own, you know, to sit by um, a lake and to be practicing mindfulness. I feel like it's not the journey. I, I feel like that is my destination sometimes, but it isn't, right? It is just a path towards um towards what about alleviating suffering to removing the suffering that's happening um so think of what a mindful person can do um i just found this that i absolutely loved so this is about from the same author thich nhat han ye kehte hain ki when we walk like we are rushing या वेन वी वॉक नॉन माइंडफुली तो हम क्या बेसिकली कर रहे हैं वी आर प्रिंटिंग एंगजाइटी एंड सोरो ऑन द अर्थ क्योंकि हम कनेक्टेड है ना हम हर चीज के साथ तो अगर हमारी एंगजाइटी हमारे पैरों में हमारे बॉडी में है देन वो प्रिंटिंग इट ऑन द अर्थ वी हैव टू वॉक इन अ वे दैट वी ओनली प्रिंट पीस एंड सरेनिटी ऑन द अर्थ you have to be aware of the contact between your feet and the earth jo vidya aap keh rahi thi walking ke bare mein aware of that contact walk as if you are kissing the earth with your feet you know that helps us to see what the connection we have with the universe with the earth how much power we have to control the mindset of the entire world aur hum world ko क्या हम बेटर बना सकते हैं क्या हम अपलिफ्ट कर सकते हैं ऑफ कोर्स वी कैन एंड माइंडफुलनेस कैन हेल्प अस टू रीच दैट स्टेज थिंक अबाउट व्हाट माइंडफुल पीपल कैन डू जो लोग वो हमने जो पढ़ा था ना ये वाला जो लोग नॉन जजमेंटल हैं जो एम्पथेटिक हैं जो सिंप्लिसिटी में बिलीव करते हैं जो अप्रिशिएटिव हैं द पीपल दैट गो विद द फ्लो द पीपल हु आर गुड एट लेटिंग गो थिंक ऑफ व्हाट काइंड ऑफ अ वर्ल्ड दे कैन क्रिएट हाउ मच बेटरमेंट दे कैन ब्रिंग टू द वर्ल्ड some examples of what um mindful people can do mindful people can stand up for themselves because they are fearless wo present pe ji rahe they're not worried about kaun se consequence ke sath mujhe kya fayda hoga kya nuksan hoga remember rosa parks rosa parks ki story she she said listen i am not i am not going to the back of this bus i'm okay i'm going to stay here um to they are fearless so fearless people are are um uh good at making decisions that will uplift themselves you know they stand up for themselves they stand up for anything unjust that is happening with themselves also they are good advocates because they once again because they are fearless they're not worried they stand up for human rights they stand up for other people you know it's easy for them to stand up for other people um jaise main aapko pehle keh rahi thi ki they don't say ki the poor people are poor because of themselves they decide ki i need to make some changes maybe i can do something maybe in the end they can't do something but they are the mindful people and they will try to do something because they are living in that present moment you know um we know so many examples right martin luther king junior hai mahatma gandhi ka naam suna hai humne nelson mandela they were all people who stood up for human rights so we can't say that these people were not mindful they actually knew what they were doing and they lived in um like they had to suffer a lot in order 
to stand up for human beings, stand up for other people. So they, that's how they helped to create a better world. They were non-judgmental people, right? They were empathetic people. Um, mindful people, actually, um, example, I don't know, this is a little story of uh, a man. His name is Dashrath Manji. Dashrath Manji. So he, is, uh, he was a laborer in, in a poor province of, um, of India. And what happened was both he and his wife, they were doing labor work or unki wife ko injury ho gai goi. Wo gir gai, unko injury ho gai. And she needed treatment. Jis gaon mein, jis village mein wo log rehte the, from there to the town which had doctors and medication or any facilities, that was separated by a mountain. To beach mein, raste mein, ek mountain tha. To you could not go through there. It was like a ridge. There was just no way. So you had to go through the long way, which was 60 kilometers one side, 60 kilometers. So basically, he, there, there was no way that he was going to go get medication for her. It just couldn't happen. So she died. And Dashrath Manji said, ke, you know, she gave up her life, but I have to do something about this. See, this is not right. And what he did, a hathora, hammer, or a chheni, you know, chisel, wo leke, wo mountain ke upar chale gai, aur usko tordne lag gai. And everyone's like laughing at him, calling him a fool. Aise thodi hota. He's like, all I see is this moment and my hammer and my chisel and I'm going to work on it. That man worked for 22 years. And now, there is a road across that mountain. Jahan se wo village ke log us town mein jate hain aur apna ilaj karate hain aur unko jo bhi facilities chahiye wo leke aate hain. You know, um, that man's name is on, uh, I, I think his picture is on one of the stamps, like postage stamps. He was also given a state funeral when he passed away because he, he decided, okay, jo bhi hoga, I have to do it. So these people, Mindful people who only see the present moment and what they need to do, they are ready to endure hardships. This is a mushkil kaam. They know it. Ke life is all about mushkil. You know, um, you know, all of that. It's all the same thing. So it is it is gonna happen. So uh, mindful people, they just accept whatever happens. Malala, you know. She decided she had to do something. She knew the road was would not be easy for her. Okay, I'm gonna do this piece of cake. No, that's not what she thought. She she was ready for it though. Um, they're selfless. Mindful people are the ones for whom becoming selfless is easy. Right? Um, I don't know if you've heard of they only take what is rightfully theirs. They are not greedy. Um I don't know if you've heard of, uh, this was um, Uruguay. There is a country called Uruguay. Unkai, uh, president tha. His name was Jose Mujica. Jose Mujica. Or um, he was the 40th president. Um, and I think he served from, I have the year here, 2010 to 2015, he served. Jab wo elect with he donated as a president when he was elected. He donated 90% of his presidential salary to charity. And he did not live in the lavish presidential palace. You know? um, so he decided, time set tha to wo aagya, 8.30. Yeah. Pe. Sounds good. So people, there is a poll in front of us. And we are going to try and answer this poll. And I only have a couple of more points, I promise you. This is the only slide where we have. People are answering it. Let's take a minute to answer the, the poll if we can right now.
उसे साइड पे कर दे कैन वी डू दैट मैं अपने लिए तो कर सकती हूं बट आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ इट विल हैपन फॉर एवरीवन सारे लोग सारे लोग अपने अपने पोल्स को या इफ यू हैव डन इट आप एंड कर सकते हैं हम्म और अगर आपने नहीं किया है तो आप साइड पे पुल कर लीजिए एंड वी कैन जस्ट कंटिन्यू अम yeah so um that european president who was selfless who decided you know i'm in this uh, position he was mindful of how much he was making and how much he needed and how much other people needed that's what mindful people do so he decided to donate most of his salary to people who needed it way more than him lal bahadur shastri is also an example of um of such a president of india he was a former indian prime minister he was a cabinet minister for many many years and he was very poor when he died can you think of politicians like very few politicians are poor when they die you know um there are lots of opportunities especially in um in a country like india where there are so many opportunities for them to to be non mindful to just keep collecting wealth and properties um mindlessly um also what mindful people do they are very creative they nourish their creativity आपने सुना होगा गूगल के ऑफिस के बारे में डू यू नो हाउ देर सेट अप लाइक देर सेट अप इन अ वेरी क्रिएटिव माइंडफुलनेस को दिमाग में रखते हुए उनके ऑफिस स्पेसेस सेट अप हुए एंड द रिसर्च सेज दैट माइंडफुल स्पेसेस नरिश क्रिएटिविटी यू नो यू बिकम मोर क्रिएटिव वेन यू आर माइंडफुल पीपल हु आर माइंडफुल दे टेक एक्शन यू नो वाई बिकॉज दे लिव in the present they believe in doing things in the present they don't worry they don't just talk about the future or about um uh the past so let me share you some words that dr Mark, martin luther king jr shared i always find these words very very inspirational if you can't fly then run if you can't run then walk you can't walk then crawl but whatever you do you have to keep moving forward so he was talking about taking action you cannot just sit there and complain you cannot just sit there and say agar aisa hota agar waisa hota kaash aisa ho jaye wo log aisa kyun nahi karte how will this happen how will that happen move forward maybe you can't fly to solve a situation to solve the problem of the world but maybe there's something you can do do that thing and that's what um a, a characteristic of mindful people is they also understand things more in depth you know because they are non-judgmental because they are free from biases um they are critical thinkers they appreciate oh this is what this thing really means kyunki unke khud ke biases beech mein nahi aate when they're analyzing situations right um they're not distracted they focus on that one thing and they're able to see it better um i don't know if you've heard of helen keller ka naam sabko pata hoga helen keller unki jo teacher thi and sullivan helen keller ko it was told that no one can treat her so she she didn't have vision and she didn't have hearing and um no one no one was being able to teach her but this person and sullivan she said you know what i understand the situation i'm going to do something about it and we all know helen keller's name today we all know ann sullivan's name today you know um and i'm just taking this example of a famous person that we know hamari real life mein bahut sare aise log hain um jo situations ko samajhte hain aur un pe aise act karte hain as if you know like hame lagta hai ki oh my god that was the perfect action for this that was the perfect solution jo unhone nikala you know um and then finally they are committed to practice they're not like you know ke nahi bas itna hi kar sakti hu matlab i cannot do any more think of mother teresa think of uzma you know um i've never heard her say that's all i can do you know i've always seen her committed to making the world a better place to making whatever she can do whatever people can do like um there are people in this world who will keep going and there are people in this world who will start to blame their problems on other factors so mindful people are always committed to practice 
So this workshop series is called The Road to Recovery, Rebuilding and Resilience. And mindfulness is one of the, the strategies that can take us there, that can help us in creating a better world where it's easier to recover, where um, whatever we have lost, the connections that we have lost with ourselves, we can rebuild them and we can become resilient as people. I really hope this was useful to you. And that's all I have to say. Let me stop sharing. Thank you so much. I know it's a Friday evening or मुझे बड़ा मुश्किल लगता है फ्राइडे इवनिंग्स को कई बार वर्कशॉप्स में आना बट यू गाइस वर ऑल देयर एंड यू वर थैंक यू गुड नाइट थैंक यू वेरी मच वंडरफुल सेशन थैंक यू बट आई वाज कुकिंग व्हाइल आई वाज लिसनिंग टू इट दैट्स ओके बट आई वाज लिसनिंग एंड आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट्स अ फ्राइडे इवनिंग बट यू स्टिल वांटेड टू लर्न अबाउट माइंडफुलनेस आई रियली अप्रिशिएट दैट दैट यू पार्टिसिपेटेड इन आवर डिस्कशन can i say something anjali us maazi aapki baat hi you have so much to say i feel that bolo <laughs> okay nivedita 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 that was i thought i know everything about mindfulness and now i feel like oh you came up with so many things which uh, not my things it's these experts but you That's you came up with, okay <laughs> what <laughs> But you brought up that things, and sometimes it is necessary to remind you. You know, हमें लगता है हमें पता है तो we follow that, and after a while, थोड़ा सा धुंधला हो जाता है. Yeah. Then we, वो practices से कभी रह जाती है, कभी भूल जाते हैं, फिर वो change हो जाती है. And so it's it's really good to have someone कि वो अपना हाथ पकड़ के face attract पे हाँ यहाँ पे जाना है. So I think it's 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 a good practice. So you are doing that. So thank you so much, and you brought us so many great. things on the uh, the session mere aha moment teen the i really want to share that sabse pehle to wo poem thi hum kitna granted le lete simple si breath ko right to wo jis tarah se uh, tha it, it just uh, made me uh, be more grateful to the life to the breath and every single thing god has offered us and i think how selfless uh, the nature and the universe is yeah. so that is that was beautiful second thing was that ki wo tha ki um i am not good enough this is a thought hum sab ke paas aise thoughts aate hai ki like something is not going well and we we feel bad about it we feel sad or we we self pity or whatever okay but hum usse us thought ko emotionally connect karte hai and we emotionally suffer and then we live in that world ki ek thought creates different thought than third and fourth yeah. and there's a like whole um, jungle of thoughts which just pulls us down uske baad wo itna zyada hum drown hone lagte tab the next stop that's too much i'm drowning now i have to go out of this yeah but then you you take efforts to whatever you do whatever practices you wo practice karke bahar aate hai aapne jo bataya wo bahut acha tha ki pehle mein don't connect the thought with your emotions be like a visitor aap bahar se dekho ye ye mere feelings nahi hai ye mere reality nahi hai mujhe aisa thought aa raha hai i'm thinking that i'm not good enough oh to aisa situation mein mujhe aisa thought kyu aa raha hai realize the situation whatever you know yeah fir it's just a thought it's not a reality so to stop it at very first step which is life changing for many so and mushkil to nahi change kar sakte thought bhi change nahi kar sakte so that was wow wow aha moment for me uh, and you uh, brought that thing up oh, yeah, thank you third wala kaun sa tha जनरेटरीटेड सिंपल and i think we sad depressed worried hoga nahi so we really have to work on that so thank you so much i owe you a big for that <coughs> uh, third thing thi mindfulness ke liye aapne kaha tha ki 
कौन से कैसे कैसे माइंडफुलनेस प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हैं मैंने थोड़ा बहुत आई एम नॉट एज ट्वेंटी इयर्स इन टू माइंडफुलनेस एज यू फ्यू मंथ्स में भी तो मुझे तो बस माइंडफुल वॉकिंग ईटिंग ये सारी चीजें पती थी फील इट स्मेल इट हियर इट यू नो ऑल दो थिंग्स तो मैंने ये सब कुछ किया था बट आई रियली I was having a difficult time कि मैं जो डेली चूज करती थी इसमें मतलब यूर ऑन अ फोन यूर कुकिंग यूर यूर डूइंग और कोई चीज करे कपड़े भी फोल्ड कर रहे हो एंड देन यूर जस्ट जमनिंग यूर नॉट यू डोंट नो की सब्जी में नमक डाला है नहीं देन यू कम टू नो की नो आई रियली हैव टू फाइंड फॉलो माइंडफुलनेस एंड देन इट गेव अ रियली गुड रिजल्ट यू आर फोकस्ड यू आर मोर प्रोडक्टिव एंड इट इज गिविंग ग्रेट बेनिफिट्स मतलब मेरे दिमाग में मेरे दिमाग में है कि दीज आर बोरिंग टास्क टू डू यू नो Like we think I have such oh my god अभी ये ये दो घंटे के जो boring घर के काम है ये सफाई करना है ये ये करना है वो करना but I think I have to change that narrative I have to acknowledge um, that that's what I'm thinking and then I have to change that you know I have to accept that okay ऐसा सोचती हूँ मैं and after like मैं separate हूँ और मेरे thoughts separate हैं like मेरी life like I like my life is not boring it's just that thought that's making me think that you know think at that, that moment exactly. maybe आपने और एक कहा था अबाउट द मी टाइम तो जो भी आप मी टाइम डेली जो उसे बाहर निकालने से अच्छा है उसी में दिस इज माई मी टाइम का आई ट्राई दैट टू लाइक जैसे आपने कहा था माइंडफुल लाइक वाइल डूइंग द डिशेस एक्सेट्रा तो वो चार पांच बर्तन के लिए आधा एक घंटा लगा दिया इतना फोन करके यू नो सिंगिंग एंड टेंटिंग टू वर्क आउट फॉर मी बट वाइल क्लीनिंग एंड वाइल कुकिंग आई डू दैट के मैं म्यूजिक लगा के माइंडफुली दिस इज माई टाइम टाइम तो मैं अपने हिसाब से गाना गाओ खाना बनाओ एंजॉय करो बी इन द प्रेजेंट सो दैट्स ब्यूटीफुल सो व्हाट यू सेड वाज ऑसम थैंक यू सो मच एंड आई थिंक मैंने शुरुआत में कहा था कि निवेदिता लाइक एवरी थॉट यू हैव इज लाइक अ ब्यूटीफुल सो देर इज अ ब्यूटीफुल वो बगीचा है सो एवरी थॉट यू केम अप विथ वॉज ब्यूटिफुल एंड प्रेशियस थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच सो निविता मेरे दो आहा मोमेंट्स मुझे बहुत पहले नवदीप ने मैसेज किया था कि मैंने जाना क्योंकि शी हैड अ वेरी लॉन्ग डे और इसका मैसेज है मैं नहीं जा सकती सो ग्लैड दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम शी इज अटेंडिंग ओके या और एंड शी इज हियर और मुझे पता है इसका बहुत बहुत वेरी लॉन्ग डे शी हैड ओके और दूसरा आंटी जी ना आज तक ये नहीं हुआ कि मैंने उन्हें कभी 8:45 पे लंच डिनर दिया उनका टाइम इज 7:30 एट के बाद कभी भी नहीं आज मैंने हनिया को भेजा वो कहती नहीं yeah. मैं ये पूरा देख के जाऊंगी कि हमारी जो शुरुआत हुई है सीरीज की yeah. वो आज से जो स्टार्ट हुई है फर्स्ट अक्टूबर राइट सो होपफुली हम लोग सब इकट्ठे होते रहेंगे एवरी फ्राइडे को ये डिफरेंट टाइप की हमारी ये लर्निंग है आई नो हमारी आंटी थोड़ी बोर होके जा रही है मुझे उनका भी था अच्छा मैं अब उनको क्या करूंगी उनसे कहूंगी आप जल्दी आ जाइए पंद्रह मिनट पहले आ जाइए थोड़ी दिल की बातें कर ले या उनको वेंसडे में ज्यादा टाइम दे दू सो मेरा दिमाग तो कई जगह पे जा रहा होता है ना जो लोग यहाँ से जा रहे थे सब मुझे टेक्स्ट किए जा रहे हैं अब मैं उनका जवाब ना दू तब भी मुझे बदतमीजी लगेगी दू तब भी लगता है पर आप ये सोचे ना कि इस वक्त आपका वही रोल है लाइक यू आर सिटिंग हियर नॉट एज एसिलिटेटर और as an attendee that's your role at that time and you have to do that well you know sara chal raha hai it's a bonus ki aap ke hamare paas aapki ye discussion bhi aap se hum kar pa rahe hain like technically you're sitting there for an administrative purpose if you think about it <laughs> yeah jeen avdeep ji bilkul um usma ma ji can you hear me um thank you so much i was going to share with uh, nivedita and vidya that because of long day i just came here for 10 minutes and i was i just could not go there were so many aha moments the main one um, that was um, shocking was that non mindfulness how you are when you're non mindful i'm yeah. um, all of that on that slide nivedita we all and 
Uzma Baji, till today, I didn't knew it's because of I'm non-mindful. In my life, I'm always somewhere else. I'm thinking something and doing something else. Um, I think it's a great beginning. Thank you so much, Uzma Baji, uh, for sending me the link. Thank you. And thank you for being here. You say you're ha- you had a long day. You look fantastic. I feel I feel fresh now. Thank you, Nirita. <laughs> I feel so fresh and light. That's awesome. After this session, thank you. Oh great. Yes. You do Sadina look rogue ite ash karu. Sorry, Baji. Sorry. Meri ka sadina rogue ite ash karu. Definitely. <laughs> Looking forward <laughs> to next Friday already. <laughs> नेक्स्ट फ्राइडे हमारा आ रहा है ट्रॉमा ट्रॉमा रिकवरी सो दिस इज अ सीरीज फॉर एवरी फ्राइडे और एवरी फ्राइडे एवरी फ्राइडे आई बिलीव हमारे एट फ्राइडे and this is uh, you have started uh, we have started today bachi or was it going on ne ye to hamare takriban 2 saal se hain every friday kuch hota hai lekin ye ab mein workshop aur training type rakha hai model ji usse pehle jo tha usse pehle session se koi presenter aata tha koi baatein koi koi gaane ho gaye kuch aisa ho gaya different type ki different type ki cheeze hui hai aise sessions bhi hue hain suno sakhi mera to aisa hua Nivedita was talking. I was like, let me listen this time. I will go. Let me listen the past two hours. I just couldn't.